And it's gonna kill y'all. That's cool. Welcome Everyone to No Food Daisy Podcast. Gonna, not me. I'm your Especially host, Cooley. Me? We got uh, seven lovely ladies on the panel today, and they lit already. Ease, <laughs> camera. Damn, easy. They, they, they lit already, talking a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got my man Rico Hondo in the building. What's Check going on? Y'all yeah, know the vibe. Hey. 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 Go ahead, Ease. <laughs> Let me know when I go on back. No, crazy podcast. Okay. You could understand out the door. <laughs> bet, bet. Hey, uh, put a Good. one in the chat yeah, if you could hear me. Put a one in the chat if you could hear me. I just want to test everything out, make sure everything is good. Put that one in the chat. <laughs> Yes. Keep them off. Uh, let's check out. Okay, so YouTube, we good. Let's check out Facebook real quick. And uh, ladies, once again, one mic at a time. So when I'm speaking, uh, let me rock. It picks up everything when I talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, put a one in the chat. Okay, do we got ones? Okay, we got ones in the chat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, ladies and gents, let me see. What's wrong with this real quick? Hold up. Oh, now nah, we Gucci. Um, okay, let's do introductions. We're going to do my man Rico Hondo last, though, man. So let's start Damn. with the ladies introducing themselves, and we're going to start this way. Mm -hmm. Name, age, and where you from? Hmm. My name is Diana, age is 26, and currently PA. You call me my name. Currently okay. PA. Okay. And uh, what do you do for a living? I, am, uh, I do nursing and pediatrics. Nursing and pediatrics? Okay, that's what's up. And um, fun fact about yourself. Like <laughs> <laughs> like in what sense? All of them. What'd you say? I'm fun. Oh, you're fun? Okay, so that's your fun fact? Yeah, I guess. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, all right. And uh, relationship status? Um, Single. You're single? Yes. Okay, how long you been single for? Oof. Quite some time. Quite some time. How long? Let me know. Uh, we could say like two years. Two years? Mm -hmm. Okay. And wait, how old did you say you were? 26. 26. Been single for two years? Mm -hmm. Okay. How many baby daddies you got? Chat want to know. Not <laughs> <Yeah. Daddy. laughs> they are ready. Hey. Damn. I only got one baby father. That okay. means you want more. One, baby father. <laughs> <laughs> one child. I got one kid. Period. Okay, fair enough. Let's move it right along. Uh, name, age, and where you from? Mia, 33, PA. Mia, 33, PA. What's going on, Mia? What's um, up? What you do for a living? A lot. <laughs> yeah, a lot. Explain yeah, it. Yeah, I'm a just gonna bit. narrow it down to a lot. I work a lot. You work a lot. I work a lot. You you want to give an occupation? One of them? Um, not what you really. Do, you touch feet for a living? <laughs> <laughs> you touch dogs? I might sell See? feet pics. There you go. Oh, okay. She, she might have bad them. Uh -huh. I just want you to know. Selling them dogs. <laughs> oh, yeah, cute. Okay, okay. Um. You ain't gonna give us one though. Come on. She a mom. That's a she job. A mom. That's a job. There itself. you go. <laughs> she's serious. Like she's so uh, beat pig. She is. She, she, she could be serious. No, no, no. You. I'm a behavior she support know. She know. She know. She know. She know. Honey, How you know about it? Try it. 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 Cooler than the other side of the pillow, you heard? There you cooler go. There we other side of the pillow. Flip it always over. got like some. She said, "I'm just cool. I'm fun. Right. You over here, funner than the cooler than the other side of the pillow." Like a fun fact is like, "Whoa, I like to go scuba right. diving on the weekend." Oh, well, okay. Well, um, fun of fact weekend. is I travel a lot. There you, you go. You travel a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, word. That's what's up. Um, relationship status. <laughs> Single, big single, period. Big single. I heard that. <laughs> IG with the capital. And how long you been single for? Six solid years. Oh, damn. Six. Dang. She in a relationship being single. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ain't no person going to come up in that chat tell you they got, they dealing with me. <laughs> wow. Let's move it right along. Uh, name, age, and where you from? Ebriana, 25 in New York. Ebriana. 
E Brianna. Mm. Who put the E at the beginning? Was it your grandmother? <laughs> she saying like, get Bob babies, let's switch it up. <laughs> throw the E on it. Uh, <laughs> you got Rihanna. Throw, the, throw right. the E on it. It was my mom. It was I the mean, mama? I don't know. She loved the name Brianna, but it was too many of them. It was too many Period. of them. So she was like, you know what? Yeah, yeah switch it up. She did an A. A, yeah. a yeah. Brianna. Nah, e, e, Brianna, not A. E. <laughs> she could have you thought you was there, but You thought you was there, but E. That's fire. Ooh, like D Brianna. Uh huh. So D Brianna. I don't know. What do you do for a living? Well, all right. I'm into nursing, um, entertainment, and I got other sources of mm. income. We're not gonna speak about. <laughs> okay. So you into nursing and entertainment? Yeah. I'm a bit. I'm okay. Like uh, spicy work. You selling that? I mean, what's spicy? You selling you? that thing? What's spicy? Yo. <laughs> I'm just saying, you sell entertainment. Nah, like, yeah. What type of entertainment? You like XX? So why I gotta be selling something to be entertaining? Though? You got jokes? Okay. You funny? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I Imagine, but she's speaking fast. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. She could be. All right. Well, we'll figure it out as time goes on. I guess <laughs> figure right. it out. Uh, fun fact. I, um, spontaneous. Yeah. Spontaneous. Mm -hmm. Risk taker. Take risk, risk taker. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. She's a drug dealer. All right. And Eve, <laughs> uh, once again, remember, when this side of the couch talking to, just get a quick reaction so the audience can see the other guests as well. Um, okay, cool. Let's move it on to, to you and the red. Name, age, and where are you from? My name mm -hmm. is Asasha. I'm 21. And I'm from PA. Asasha, 21. Yes. You from PA. What do you do for a living? Why are you shaking your head? <laughs> I work as asset protection <laughs> in a warehouse. Okay. Yes. That's cool. I work in an office. And um, fun fact about yourself. I'm a boy mom. I'm a mom, so I don't really be doing nothing. But yeah, I'm a boy mom. You're a boy mom? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, all right, moving right along. Wait, relationship status. <laughs> I'm big single. Oh, wait, wait, because last time I said I was single and then the DMs was, no. Nah. I'm single, <laughs> but I'm not looking, all right? I'm focusing on myself, you feel me? So, so chat, let me decipher this. She's single, uh -huh. but she's not looking. She's focusing on herself. There you that go. means that it's a nigga hitting it. Um, <laughs> it also means that that nigga that's hitting it, he ain't really worth nothing to her because she ain't claiming that dude. Boy, cool. Or it's either she don't want to. Cool, wanna, you got to cool. Look, it's either, Come on, bro. Either, either, the nigga hitting it because someone is smashing, right? Uh, yeah, but, I don't believe Or this. the nigga don't want to claim her. What? So Anybody got have me going to want to claim me, first the of all? Either the man is a high no. enough value that no. she wants to claim him, or... Or we, if I'm talking to somebody, it's taking your time. You don't rush into nothing. I'm not going to jack somebody if it's not even like that. I'll exactly. Come on now. Right. So I'm single. Right. Boom. For two years. Uh, I throw a tomato. Fun fact about yourself. <laughs> they going to match my outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> Move on. He said, her "I said gonna match my outfit." I said, I'll he goes, "Tomato." Cause I'm single. Oh. Cause she's lying. I'm well, lying about what? Mm -hmm. Exactly. You don't even know. Mm -hmm. you gonna I don't ever have to lie. But fun fact about yourself. I told you I'm a boy mom. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I love my baby. Mom. I'm a mom. <laughs> How many? You only got. I one? only have one. Okay. Yep. How many baby fathers? Only you one. Have, no, I'm joking. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> only one for now. Maybe like, these, no. these these Jones be aborting kids out here. I got no. three of them, but only got one. That's you never not me. Know. No, no. I have my baby uh, and I uh, relax. Uh, That's it. <laughs> we getting spicy tonight. We no forget the podcast. <laughs> uh, <All right>. yeah. <laughs> Moving right along. Name, age, and where you from? My name is Amber. I'm from Cleveland, and I'm 29. 29. I'm the baby here. Yeah. Okay. Cleveland. Yeah. Um, I'm a girl. 29 baby. years old. That's the best. What do you do for a living? I work for Geisinger Health Insurance. Geisinger. Mm -hmm. Okay, That's nice. I got you, boy. What type, what type of insurance? <laughs> you want free insurance or you want? <laughs> nice. Let me know. I need whole life. I got you. <laughs> like, whole life. <laughs> you said whole life insurance? Well, it's like I work for Medicaid. Okay. So I give out, you know, yeah, you need that free insurance. I got you, oh, boy. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, Relationship status. I am single for now. Single for now. How long you been single for? About seven months. Okay. Word. And fun fact about yourself. I got a green thumb. I grow my own herbs, my own vegetables. My house is full of plants. Ooh. I give plants mm. to my friends. I don't fill her house yeah. with plants. <laughs> yeah. I love uh, it. Chat, let's <laughs> decipher this. What she's saying is she smoke a lot of weed. <laughs> <laughs> if you need, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> if you need. <laughs> 
<laughs> she, she professional knows. with it though. She oh, right. <laughs> I got them hurt. The eyes hey, might be hey, watching. Chat, you never if know. You look in her eyes. She's high right now. Actually, <laughs> that's um, why my eyes ain't as big as they normally are. <laughs> Are you snitching <laughs> on yourself? Girl, I got big eyes. It's okay, Cooley yeah. got big eyes too. Hey, no, I do have big eyes. You do? Matter of fact, I you see don't get no glasses that. today. <laughs> no glasses today. Uh, moving right along. <laughs> name age, where you from? My name is Ashley. I'm 24. 24? Let me help you out real quick. <laughs> All right, 24 years old. My name is Ashley. I'm 24. I'm a financial advisor. I'm an international model. I'm a babysitter. I'm you a baby mama? <laughs> not a baby mama. Oh, okay. A nigga's he best dreams, but no, I'm not. Okay. A and nigga's what? best dreams, but no, I'm not. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Why you, Ooh. time out, why you like switch up your whole attitude? <laughs> she was like, so... <laughs> Ashley, like we in an infomercial. I'm like, what you about to sell us? Right. <laughs> <laughs> now I message you, Ashley. Y'all gonna Ashley, get the hug uh, me. Uh, what do you do for a living, Ashley? Anything you want. Um, what do you do for a living? I'm a financial advisor. <laughs> okay, fine. You already asked that. <laughs> Exactly, right? Oh, I did. Yeah, right. Because yes, 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 she was acting like we, she in the infomercial. I forgot. She um, always I'm an international model. I just dropped a magazine in Paris. Hello. Hey. hey. She Yo. doing her big yeah. yeah. She yeah. doing her big hey, chat. <laughs> like, hey, chat. Uh, What's we, happening? We really <laughs> lit right now, as you can tell, but um, relationship status. <laughs> Currently. Don't lie. She lied. She about to lie. Oh, some nigga hitting it for but sure. Currently, she can't say she's saying she's taking too long. I'm in a relationship. Oh, okay. And I love salami. <laughs> and who are you looking at? <laughs> Black the hook. <laughs> I can't even. Okay. Oh, my God. Just I can't. Um, I can't. So, you say you currently... No. She loves salami. Yeah. Does that mean she loves her Dominican? You're not in a relationship. No, she is. You are she, in a relationship. Ooh, yeah. With She's salami. in a, a Dominican. With a, with a Dominican. Yes. A Dominican girl or boy? <laughs> That's what I say. Spicy. A Dominican man. He's a man, you guys. A Dominican man. I love salami. I don't like it. Okay, let me try some female dress salamis nowadays. Ladies, I love it. Ladies, look, look at me. One mic at a time. The chat is saying y'all talking over one another is too much noise. So when we doing these intros and even when we speak, one mic at a time. Moving right along. Name, age, and where you from? Yeah, yeah, I'm 29 from New York, but I live in Pennsylvania. Okay, 29 from New York. Um, hey, she was Brooklyn last time on the podcast, right? She was yeah, Brooklyn. 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 She was Brooklyn. Sure, I'm gonna be calm. Okay, Brooklyn is back. Um, <laughs> Big BK vibe. Where are you? Uh, what do you do for a living? I'm a nail technician, but I'm really a cosmetologist. That's just what I work doing, honey. No, I don't do acrylics. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like because you like okay okay but, yeah. cool and um relationship status i'd rather not talk about it <laughs> let me live please okay. for this one i spoke about it last last podcast. time you was in a relationship La and this time i don't want to talk about it okay. <laughs> this time. they broke up okay they that's broke it up. that's right. it don't put my girl on let the me, spot like that yeah, hold on let me put that right there hold on <laughs> well, that's that's the the face. why don't you no, hello let me adjust it for you real quick it's not close yeah, enough for most of us <laughs> How about now? My bad, Chad. I had to adjust the mic. Um, wait, where we at? Relationship status. Oh, 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 oh you he trying to press one of them buttons for me? You think I'm lying? Wrong one. Why you oh. fucking lying? Yeah, okay, that's what why you put. always lying. And uh, hey, chat man, we got my man Rico Hondo in the building today. Hey, Rico. Um, hey, Rico man, let me know what's good. What you got going on? What what they can expect? Um, so for those of you that don't know, uh, my name is Rico Hundo and I'm from New Jersey. Um, I'm all around the entertainment space, podcasting, music, acting, everything in the entertainment industry. Uh, what do I got going on? Well, my sunglass 
line has been booming over the last six months. So I just want to say thank you to everybody who has supported. And if you haven't, go ahead and support on HundoBrand.com. And actually, he, uh, you did bless me with a pair, right? I did. I mean, yes, I did. He yes, blessed I did. me with a pair. Actually, Appreciate let's, 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 let's put it on right now. Yeah. Let me see. Right? Yeah, those, those are actually never going to be released. Those are oh. exclusive. Yeah, okay, so let's, let's hey. those are like the, the Blackout 2.0s. That's saying cool. Hey. Okay. That's saying so, cool. <laughs> I'm next. I want to pay. Don't worry, I got you all. You know, price ranges from fifty-five dollars all the way up to about two fifty. Okay, then. Yeah. Okay. So. Whatever question he about to ask me, and those I'm about to answer. <laughs> answer. Answer. <laughs> answer. <laughs> okay. Now okay. those are fire. Um, those are fire. And chat. Uh, anyone that's in right now, uh, everyone on Facebook. I think we got almost like 500 people on Facebook. So we're gonna rock out on Facebook maybe for 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna close down that stream. We're gonna have everyone go over to YouTube. Everyone on YouTube right now, um, like the video. Stop being ninja watchers, cause we we don't got that many likes. How many likes we at? Let's check. We only had 22 likes, so get the likes up. It's a lot more people in here than that. So get the likes up on YouTube <laughs> and uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you aren't subscribed. Um, other than that, let's get into y'all ladies. So I had the ladies write down some questions. Um, who actually wants to get into their question first? A shot. Let's just start with Seisha. Uh, there we go. Thank you, Yoni. And wait, is these, your... are yeah. oh, these are all of our questions. Yeah, these all of them. Wait, except hers. She and mine. Hers. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, let, let's okay. just give it all nah, to nah, him. No, 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 no. Y'all can read your own questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these. But re read your question. I got a couple because last time I wasn't prepared. So yeah, just do. Let's do. <laughs> let's do one of your <laughs> questions. And time out. Is your question for the panel no, or is it directly to someone? Oh, it's directly for the men. Oh, so it's directly for me. Oh, I mean, one is for like all of us. All right, let's get to the one with all of us. Okay, you ready? Yeah, go ahead. What's the best way to break up with somebody? Ooh, mm -hmm. she, she talking. Dang, she want to get it already. Uh, <laughs> let's start with um, you. You. Ebriano. Um, Ebriano. There you go. I like that. Ooh, love that. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, face to face. Period. She's an face Aquarius. To face. Mm -hmm. face to face. But that's, a lot, that's hard for a lot of people because in order to, like, end the relationship the reason why you're in a relationship because you don't want to face that person for some whatever reason so the easiest way to like end it people think is over you know text or call mm -hmm. so right. face to face is hard so it's like advice you can give somebody when they are going to face to face to break up with somebody right hmm. you think i'm so? asking you like what's the advice what do you think as though like how can i put it what if you text them, you breaking up with them, and then it's like you see them in public? You don't think that's... Awkward as hell. That's well, what I'm saying. So, so why not just get it over with? Like, right. nip it right in the bud. So can I comment? I I'm very oh, communicative. Like, comment? I communicate. Yeah, Period. One, one second. One mic at a time. Okay, so, but... What so her uh, your question was, what's the best way to break up with someone? And you mm -hmm. said face-to-face. -face. Mm -hmm. That's your answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Move it right along. Uh, Maya. Mia. Mia, Dane. I'm so bad with names. Sorry. <laughs> Damn, even the three-letter names? Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm terrible with names. And nah, it's not even, it has nothing to do with the person. Yeah. It's actually me. So okay. I take all accountability. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so what's the best way you think to break up with someone? What's your I would have that? to agree. It's face-to-face -face because, I mean, I mean, it depends for me if it's like real. Is that good? Yeah. If, I think if it's early, I'm a ghoster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm a ghost you. Yeah. I'm a just yeah. not respond. But if it's somebody that I put in time that there's, you know, I give you that respect where it's going to be face to face. I'm a big eye contact person. I'm a big like right in your face type of person. Like okay. if I care about you. But that so I would agree. Face okay. To face. So face to face. Mm -hmm. I think this cat, y'all girls don't break up with people face to face, man. Because you yes, said face sir. to face. No, let me not go. Let's, this is what they let them go. Okay, cool. All right, it's okay. I completely agree with both of them. Oh, y'all <laughs> yeah, never break up with nobody face to face. What? Can hold we on. say the fuck? How many have y'all did that with? Hold on, hold on. Maybe father. But hold on, hold on. Um, I'm a very confrontational person, mm -hmm. so I feel like out of respect, if I have respect for that person and the res person has respect for me, All yes, right. I would want you to do it for in person mm -hmm. if you have time with me. Like if we actually have been 
in a relationship for a little minute or we've been you know vibing talking for a little minute right, right you know mm -hmm. and if i mean if if it hasn't been then i'm i'm a ghost to you that's it mm -hmm. you know what i mean because i don't really care enough to yeah, to go exactly. in person and be like this and this and this you know but if it's for a few months or so and i'm feeling you and you feeling me and i feel like we got to end things i would rather it to be face to face yes 100% 100% so you did that with your baby father what you ended it face to face? Absolutely. How did that conversation go? That wasn't even a conversation, honey. It was a fight. <laughs> so how is that face? Yo, what? It was, right. it was face to face. Okay. Was fist right to fist? There. Yeah. <laughs> right. It was fist to fist. But yeah. But he, he was, was like, your last straw type shit. That's yeah, like, I, I left. Like, you yeah. know, I was leaving. Like, packed my things and I said, I'm leaving you. Bye. You know what I mean? Okay. I mean, fair enough. They said face to face. Let's go over Definitely. here. Um, yeah, Miss Brooklyn. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> what's the best way to break up with someone? Well, I've been wanting to comment when she said what she said. I feel like not all the time it's face to face. Sometimes through text is better because you never know a person's situation. What if that relationship was very toxic and it's not safe to for her to say it? Mm -hmm. Like, yo, I don't want to be with you because a nigga, sorry, a dude really gonna bug out. <laughs> 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 You feel me? So, like, I would say sometimes through text might be better. You could explain yourself more. Sometimes in the heat of an argument or whatever, you're not able to say the reasons to why you can no longer continue the relationship. So, sometimes through text is better. But what if he comes to your house? Then what do you do? After <laughs> that? I, I don't want to be with you. That's it. I don't want to be with you. What right. you doing okay. here? And leave him again, this is just this all y'all opinions, so I'm not yeah. really going to get on y'all too much. But oh. I do think a little bit <laughs> of it be capped. But <laughs> a very good comment. I'm I saying mean, what's you the said best through way. text. I kind of <laughs> yeah. agree. Most breakups. I happen feel like it's like better that. that way. Um, what about you? Honestly, honestly, <laughs> like. Oh, we about to be here for five minutes. Yo, uh, <laughs> <laughs> let me read that. Nah, because what was the question Coolish. again? Look, what's Coolish. the best way to break up with someone? <laughs> the best way, like, for me to break up with somebody. Baby, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> okay, so so baby, play the reverse not psychology. You, it's me. Like I'm not baby, ready. I need like, time. Like okay. baby, like baby, let me tell you something. Baby, let me tell you something. It's not you, it's me. Okay, facts. <laughs> now, let's move it right along. It's not you, it's, it's her. So she pretty much sw switching the blame to try to... It's a real indirect way of breaking up with someone. It's like... Uh, that's, that's gaslighting, too. Mm -hmm. um, but let's move it right along. Very toxic. Narcissistic. Trait, it's okay. Yeah, fully. Um, Amber, right? Yes. Amber, um, what's the best way to break up with someone? I mean, it's probably not the best way, but I want to text you. Like, I'm going to let you know, like, y'all don't want to do this no more. But you ain't about to cry in front of me. <laughs> cry in front of like, me, that's the one. Sorry, like, baby. Girl, don't ask me, like, why are you crying? Okay. Girl, so why are you lying? Girl, I'm going to text you. She's not she lying. Out of here. No. Yeah, she's she not you. She know text. I'm not lying. I'm going to text you. Hey, chat, put, mm. a, this, put a one in the chat if you could air, um, hear Amber good. Amber, Hello? speaking of Mike. Can you hear me? Put a one in the chat if you could hear her as good as me. Put a two in the chat if you can't. <laughs> can't do that. That's probably why, yeah. Yeah. Okay, one. Okay, okay. I just wanted to make sure the mics was good because I'm always having audio issues, but <laughs> chat, I got it figured out. There um, you go. It was your question, so what's yes. your answer to it? Honestly, I need closure, so in person. That way, mm -hmm. you know, you can do things uh -huh. to get that closure. If you want to have way. some breakup sex, how to break up sex. You feel me? <laughs> you want to break up sex, so what's the point of the breakup? Y'all still fucking. Y'all no, still basically no, have one having that time. tie. Mm -hmm. Like, no, let it go. Fuck that. Mm -hmm. That's so oh, okay. When I'm done, I'm going to tell you. I'm done. 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 <clears throat> so I can get that closure with so that person. That closure with I'm the not person. saying we gonna fuck, Yadi. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying like me. to have some closure. If like you know, no, I'm not saying we gonna fuck. But if it go that yeah, way, just the last time. Time. Yeah. 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 But if it's too, good, if it's good, I'm not yeah, leaving. Yeah, okay, yeah, let me stop. I'm chatting. Okay, all right, ladies. Okay, so face to face. Yeah. I mean, I'm saying, hold on. 
Wait. That's the best way to do it. I'm not saying that's how we do it. Because okay. I know you're about to get on us. Mm-hmm. That's not how a lot of us do it. Because a lot of us have problems dealing with, you know, people in person. So we're going to text you. We're going to call you. We're going to post you. We're going to do all that. But that's not the way we, you know, it be going down most of the time. So the way I normally do it is But the best way is face-to-face, break up sex. And this couch <laughs> over here, y'all all said face to face. Is that the normal way y'all break up with people or keep it real? Yeah, that's the normal way I break up with, okay. pe- with somebody. What about you? <laughs> yeah, but I'm not going to lie. I just feel like people move on. Okay. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, Pray. Like, Every like? year. Okay. Baddie. He playing no, again. No. <laughs> okay. Um. And what about you? What like, about? do you normally break with people face to face? Yes. Okay, she normally breaks with people. Face I mean, I've only had like two relationships, no and they both ended up bad. What about yeah, you? Too. Can you just like, let us know what you? Would, he about like, to. about to go in. Well, situation. I'll, I'll, I'll let Rico go first. Rico, what's your what's your opinion okay, on Rico, all of this, man? Suave. Rico. I'm breaking up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pretty what's the big. best way to break up with someone? I think that um, depends on what level we're talking about right now. But when it comes to women, the best way they break up is through a lawyer. Because <laughs> <laughs> they want oh that money. Way. What you been doing? Nah, I'm just saying, like, a lot of people talking about divorce. She's yeah, about it's divorce. divorce. A lot of dudes find out that they're getting divorced after the, like, beginning steps of divorce had already been taking place. So um, I don't believe that women typically do come face to face with anybody. I never met a woman that did. Um, now, how I break up, I, I make you break up with me. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna like, like that too. You, you gonna play mm-hmm. reverse psychology game? No, so you like, gonna hold just, on? It. You gonna do you until? I just won't care no more. Mm. You you could just you know like that person at the job that's ready to quit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that mm-hmm. that means like, fire you. Yeah, <laughs> like I uh, yeah, I just not working. I'm like yeah, you care. know what? You're right. It's not working. You can initiate it, and I just let you go just because it depends. So you a cheater? Nah, I'm, oh, well, no. I've cheated. Yeah, right? Okay, but, I've but definitely that's cheated. not what you mean by. But now what I'm really saying is because the thing is. Like, I don't love easily. Mm -hmm. So if I love you, I don't want to see you hurt. So I'd rather you just get ready to move on because I'm already moved on already. Mm -hmm. Like, mentally at least. So um, So you never had a female tell you, I'm done with you and be out? None of them said that and meant it. They all came back. (laughs) Oh, my God. You know, especially if we had a... Make up sex. They not going nowhere. Hey, you go. If, you, if I, I can you. still hit it, you not broken up with me. That's it's what I'm saying. Simple. Yeah, no. That <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Jesus Christ. Okay, okay. Um, I mean, me my opinion on that is the best that way. Me I, I will agree with this couch over here. The best way is face to face. But normally people not breaking up face to face. Especially women. Uh, <laughs> y'all do everything indirectly. Everything is passive aggressive everything is <clears throat> um you know it's it's all indirect behavior y'all don't really speak directly y'all don't move directly nothing is direct when it comes to females so if we're truly being honest and being no fugazi yeah y'all don't break up um face to face but i do think that's the best way but uh, we got a super chat that came in. We got uh, Av- Avada 27. <laughs> you just said, you let, you, he just said he lets them break up with him. Like <laughs> you going to say us women are fugazi. She said that. Wait, 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 hold on, you think, wait, hold on, hold on. You think that I'm lying? No, I didn't say. I'm about to call his ex right now. I didn't say he was lying. First of all, did I say he was lying? I'm just saying. The way you say you said, like, you make them break up with you. So you start acting a little no fugazi. You feel me? Because when I say no fugazi, you know what is that he's being honest with what he's saying now? I'm honest too. It's just sometimes it's better through text because I don't want to do kind of my face. The difference is, is like, first of all, if you really look at it from a realistic standpoint, when I'm dating a girl, or in a relationship is two different things. I don't have to break up with no girl I ain't dating. That's one. Facts. I'm going to tell you what it is and that's what it is. Mm-hmm. But if I'm actually dating, I'm talking about in a serious relationship, let's say we got kids together. All right. It's good that's to be more face to face. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if, 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 because well, y'all gonna be in each other's faces like every day. Let if me it's actually like, take serious. the kids part out. If we live together, I'm breaking up. That's, that's, that's different. Different. Take the kids part out. You. Take but, the kids like, out. Let's say we in a serious relationship. Mm-hmm. Like you know, let's say we two years in, mm-hmm. and first and foremost, for me to not even want to be with you, it's because you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, and I'm tired of trying to tell you how to do it. Speak right. On. You're not being receptive. So now, for you to not be receptive, it doesn't make sense for me to just say, "Yo, you know what? I'm out," because I don't want it to come off as if I'm. 
I'm leaving out of retaliation. I want you to see that I'm done. So it's not face to face or through text. It's via yeah, action. Because, <laughs> no, when I'm yeah, because when I'm done, okay. you're gonna feel you're that gonna I'm feel done. It, you're gonna feel it, right? Right. Yeah, and then you don't even want to come back. And I don't yeah. want you to come back. No, I don't yeah. want to hate stranger text. I don't want to how you doing text. Mm-hmm. Nah, you don't like me, and I don't like you. Let's, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, 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 right. Yeah. Um, so we got uh, uh, a a voter. I guess that's name twenty seven. This isn't ten dollars. He says showing love and support for all y'all for all y'all doing out here. Uh, Shorty <laughs> in the pink. Which fifty nine slash fifty capping. Shorty in the pink. Oh, you capping? What the heck is fifty nine well, slash fifty? You capping? Maybe he meant both. I guess he said fifty fifty capping. Oh. You he capping. said fifty nine fifty capping. It, it could be both. Who knows? You know it could be act. both. Who? Uh, the ladies in the pink. Capping, capping, about, capping uh, about y'all answers. About like what? that you would break up with someone face to face. Absolutely, I've done it. You never did so, it. What you mean? Fighting don't count. <laughs> but I never went back. Face so that does we was count married for six years. You know what I mean? So that okay. had to be like a sit down, face to face conversation. Mm-hmm. Like this yeah. marriage is over. Hey Fritz, I see you in here, bro. I see you raw way all day, bro. I see you, Fritz. Ra ra ra. So. <laughs> Let's get in. Uh, you got another question, right? And actually, chat. Uh, yeah. We got seven ladies on the panel. So, you know, donate to the podcast. Send in a dollar, whatever. But what? make a comment. If you have any questions for these seven ladies, um, I'll read your question out loud. So participate, man. We appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Um, and also, if you want the ladies to rate your Instagram, we're doing that today, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, so can you could get your Instagram <laughs> rated by the, D, by the ladies. Yeah. One through ten. Send in $20. You got to send in $20 to get your Instagram rated. And what oh, you do is, ladies, ladies, mm. I'm speaking, so please. Uh, what you, I'm giving the chat some rules here. So what you do is you send in your $20 tuition and uh, you send in your Instagram name. When you send in your Instagram name, we're going to bring it up on a screen. We got a screen over here. We're going to let the lady see it. And we're also going to bring it up on a screen in the system so uh, the, the audience can see your Instagram, too. You could do it to get some clout, or you could do it just to maybe you want to spit some game at the ladies. Who knows? But we rating Instagram today. <laughs> I thought um, you meant, like, rating, like, we're going to like their stuff. Uh, <laughs> let's move it right along. Who, let's go to another question. Who else got questions? See, I have another one. You have your own question. No, but didn't you have two? Yeah, you hear more yeah, than he said he wants to go like, to somebody else. Yeah, so. let's get into someone else real quick. Anybody got questions? I have one, but I got another one now. So can I just not read this one? Amber, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can come on with something off the All top. Right. Yeah, go ahead. So when is it appropriate oh, shoot. to take the glove off? Oh, I got, I got Ooh, my answer. That's a good question. Day one. <clears throat> that's when a good question. Come in hot. Oh, let's, uh, <laughs> let's start over here since we started <laughs> over there. Let me cap it. We're going to start over here and we're going to start. Let me see what you got. <laughs> we're going to start with uh, Anastasia. Anastasia. <laughs> that's Asasia. Say my girl name right. Asasia. Asasia. All right. Uh, Asasia, I'm sorry about that. Asasia. Asasia. Uh, say the question again. When is it appropriate to take. The, the condom off. off. Take the condom off. Okay, the answer in two. <laughs> With blood work and if Shorty mm-hmm. on birth control. That's when. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what are you looking at me like that for? You don't got no kids, so you're not scarred. <laughs> 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 You. Who don't got no kids? You oh, you don't. Amber, I thought you had a, your mic. He got a daughter. What? So you going in? You going? Go vet in the game, first of all. <laughs> so you going in just three. with no glove? Uh, you went in with no glove too. Who are you talking mm. about? <laughs> you, you a boy mom, right? <laughs> okay, but I didn't get pregnant <laughs> off rip. <laughs> Yo, I didn't get pregnant off that's rip. Cap. First, all right. You know what? I'm letting everybody go me. first. Hi, my name is Asasia. You don't know me yet. Okay. To know if I fucked on the first night with no condom. I didn't say the first night. But that's what you say. You said off rip. That means the first night type okay. shit. Or anyway, maybe. with blood work and it's already on <laughs> birth control. I know birth control be messing up your bodies. Okay. I'm not on birth control no more. But yeah, with blood work, you <laughs> got to show work. me the fucking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because a lot of people don't be getting tested out here. And that's. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Got gotcha. you. Mm-hmm. And, and ladies, there let me go. just give out some other quick rules so it could all move along good and everyone can have some time to speak. So when I do call on someone to speak, it's the floor is yours. I'm gonna make sure no one interrupts you. Please. Um, after you're done speaking, then we're gonna move it right along. If y'all wanna make some little jokes in time, just like think of the right time to like put a little something in. You can put your stuff in, but just think of like the right time to do that. Um, Amber, uh, what's the best time to take off the glove? <laughs> Oh, uh, shit. Hey, wait, wait. Actually, before you give your answer, uh, this is a little too spicy for Facebook, so 
Uh, everybody on oh, Facebook, we closing down a <laughs> Facebook stream. We got over 300 people on Facebook, so we closing down the stream. Go, come on over to YouTube. That's No Fool Gazy Podcast. <laughs> no Fool Gazy Podcast. Come on over to Instagram, and you'll see the live stream live. So we closing out Facebook. Or literally, I'm closing out now. Right mm. uh, now, and go ahead, give your answer. I think after y'all sat down and had that talk that it's only y'all, you know what I mean? Like y'all in a serious relationship, make sure that that I feel like, like you said, get tested, you know what I mean? I'm definitely making sure you ain't got nothing before we go not using nothing. Can I speak? Are you making me up? Okay, go ahead, Astasia. But you know damn well you're not sitting out of talk before sex if you in the moment. <laughs> but I see that's the thing. I'm not fucking nobody unless they, they got a condom. Okay, we're about to do this. But then once we once we know that it's just me and you, we sit down, we talk, we know we in a relationship, then maybe we could do it without a condom. But mm -hmm. no, we ain't fucking without a condom. Mm -hmm. I ain't fucking nobody without a condom. Okay. Okay. All right. No, but she's saying when's the right time to go in without the condom. That's what like how long? Yeah. Put like, a time stamp. A time stamp. Like a month, two months, three months. If you don't got a timestamp, you don't got a timestamp. Yeah, I don't really got a. Yeah. You don't got a. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty I think the longest, the shortest I've ever waited was maybe like four months, but I jumped into that relationship real quick. Okay, so you got. Real quick. Four that was my ex husband. Yeah, what was your time quick. frame? What was your time frame? Quick. My time frame? Yeah. When I'll the paperwork yeah, yeah. come in. Okay, so when, when the, the blood work come in. in. All right, moving right along. <laughs> uh, Ashley, what's the best time to take off the glove? The best time to take off the glove for me, like, I agree with what both of them just said, like, having the results and so forth. I'd rather see the results so forth. Mm -hmm. And then after then, I like to keep it from the four to the six months. Like, you're going to wait. <laughs> hey, nobody lying. Why you think I'm lying? You Why you think I'm lying? Let a nigga hit it raw dog the first night. Don't lie to us. Not the first night. Never That's the a first fucking night. Lie, bro. Never could have oh been the first gosh. night. Why would you think it's a lie though? But Yo. why would you think it's a lie though? Because Cause like, you think cause you're that easy, you think I'm mm, that easy? Yes. Oh, because yes, yes, you're yes, that easy. Yes. You think I'm that I, easy. I, I definitely do think that you're that easy. but Because you're that easy. Not because of that. But I oh, just shit. think that when a girl really, really is feeling the dude, and it don't have to be the first night she met him. She mm -hmm. could have met him for two weeks. Mm -hmm. She could have been talking to him for three weeks. She could have been talking to him for four days. You're or she could have met him on that night. If he's vibing with her and she like him, she going... He might not even bring a condom. She might not even ask him, do you got a condom? Right? And this is a fact. You know what nah, I'm saying? Yeah, you Listen, speak facts. I hit, mm -hmm. I hit some shit, mm -hmm. and she never asked me if I had one, and I had to think like, yo. And you didn't think about it? Right, I was about to say, you didn't ask him, like, why don't you It wasn't after the first one. I ain't going to hold you. It was mm -hmm. after uh, many. Like, that should I'm be like, a red flag. I'm like, like, damn, like, these girls don't really be asking if you got a condom or not. I do. I'm like, I do, too. But yeah. but sometimes they do, like, and you be like, one. no. And they be like, <sighs> they do the fake fight, right? They do the they, fake yeah, fight. They, they, they no, fight. we can't do it. That's what I'm saying. You're in the moment. I could pull I mean, out. I could pull out. I could pull out. You just no, like, fine. No. We got kids. Like, We've been there no. doing that. Fuck that shit. I ain't no but you've been there. That, that is my point. And that's my point. Thank you mm -hmm. for okay. proving that because it happens. Right. So, like, now the real answer is, hey, look, maybe we should be waiting. But the real, real, real answer is, shit, I didn't... The first time I met somebody, the vibes was right, and I let him hit with no condom. Keep it a hundred. Keep it a hundred. Like ain't nobody gonna, it, gonna judge you. No fugazi. Yeah, nah, yeah. When I was younger, but now we older. We done mm -hmm. been through some shit. Exactly. It's different. Like I got two kids, a household to maintain. Hell mm -hmm. not. Thank you. So how about this? Shit. So oh, well, I, well, if we say if we <laughs> have before, yes, I have in the past. But nowadays, hell nah. You better bring some. You better bring a couple. Okay. It's, so you know this it's scientifically proven that it's not it's actually making you hotter because you're using energy <laughs> waving your hand. I try to stop her. There's the no air the in the 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 like, well, look. So like when you do this, I, I mm -hmm. literally study things a lot. I'm almost it's like true, a nerd. That's true. It's like, true. Girl, why are you so you hot doing hot this, you're using this energy, so you're actually making yourself more hotter. You're better just to And she's in between us. Yeah, you got me in between these thickums, like drink some water too, it's gonna help. Um but, okay, cool. Thank you for the answer. Yeah, Moving right along, Brooklyn. What? So, what's the best time um, to take off the strap? <laughs> the strap. 
<laughs> say it when you like them. That's bad. That's love. We call it I'm about to say that's a whole different conversation. Nah, you funny spectacular. Stop playing. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway. No, no, you good. Yeah, you got it. It's better. There right there. I would say when, when both partners agree on it. Because at the mm-hmm. end of the day, you never know how someone's chemistry is. You never know how, you know, how quick they vibe and how good it is. You know what I'm saying? And everything, like the start of everything, you can't, you can't judge it. You can't say, oh, I met this dude for one night. He's just a fucking nut and I'm going to move on. Mm-hmm. This dude you met for one night could be your fucking husband. So real shit, if you decided that one night to not use protection, that's on y'all. Me personally, like obviously I'm asking dude if he got a condom because that's how I am. I care for whatever it is. Not that I'm in that predicament now, but anyway, I just feel like if both partners agree on no protection, then fucking no protection. Y'all know the consequences after. If y'all agree on using a condom, then all right, protect yourself mm-hmm. respectfully. Okay, fair enough. And let's uh, move right along to yourself, Diana. Oh. <laughs> um, personally, like I just feel like if you vibing with the person, right? Yeah. Or, like it's for me, it takes like a month, and I and I do believe in test results. Like I do. Yeah. Like I'll go and check myself, you go and check yourself and then we could, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'll actually do the wait. No matter how good it is or whatever and I guess I do ask all the time. And if I you don't have a condom, you're not hitting it. Right. On some real shit, you're not okay. hitting it. And what's what's the Now job? when I, I was mm-hmm. younger, okay, you know it's different like, you know what I mean? I'm not I I'm not you know, so when you it? was young, you let a nigga slap no, between no, them no, no, so no, no, gas no, no, no. raw. Not on some like, oh, no, on some whole shit, no, but now that I'm older, like she said, you become more aware of things. Exactly. Like, you know, mm-hmm. too much things going around. Like, yeah. too much, you know what I mean? Like, I'm a mother now. Like, I'm not here. It don't matter the, what's it called? The satisfaction because, come on now. Pleasure. Right. You're the, about pleasure. Like the, the pleasure. The pleasure of it. Okay. Yeah, like, you're thinking more logically about sex now yes. than when you were younger. Fair yeah, enough. Like, what yeah. about you, uh, Maya? Me. Me. <laughs> Me. Sorry. I mean, I wouldn't put... I'm a grown ass woman. I'm not putting no like time frame on anything, mm-hmm. but like I'm big on the same shit like test results. Like yeah. I'm big on that. And then like if you're feel, like the vibe is right and you're like you communicate about stuff like that. Like you know what I mean? You're, like yeah, I'm on birth control. Like that's a communication mm-hmm, right. thing. So if the vibe is right, I never you're not sleeping with me on the first night, and that's on my kids. I ain't never did that, but. Like I said, I ain't going to put a time frame on when you're right. going to pull. Because, like I said, I'm grown. <laughs> if we being real, I don't like it with the Facts. on. You know what I mean? Right. It's not mm-hmm. the okay. same. So mm-hmm. it's like if, obviously, from health reasons, I have two children, too. So obviously, you know what I mean? That's going to be what it's going to be. But yeah, I'm not putting no time frame on it. Okay, cool. And this was your question. So what about you? When should a nigga strip up? <laughs> I feel like it's based on the communication and it's based on the temperature between you guys. Mm-hmm. Communication and temperature. Like, same that's, thing very she just, that's very indirect. Be more direct. <laughs> like having a conversation because it's like, what if you go out, you meet somebody, you get what I'm saying? And why are y'all laughing? <laughs> 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 Nothing. Go ahead. <laughs> I love your answer. Right. That, right. He's saying that's indirect. Being sarcastic. But it's direct. <laughs> like, Hey, mama, next time you walk around, come come this way, too. That but, way. yeah, now nah, you good, though. In the camera. Got to sit on that side. Yeah, move over more. I got you. Move your mic okay. Yeah, so, um... Rico, you want to give your take? Um, yeah. <laughs> From a man's love... standpoint, okay. the best time versus the reality. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Because you know the reality is, right. if it's up, then it's stuck. Stuck. You know what uh-huh. I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but the <laughs> the best time I think you should take the glove off is when y'all are on the same page on the worst case scenario. So, and I'm not talking about oh yeah, we have we you're pregnant. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. You nutted inside of me. You gotta take it now. Nah, I'm talking like okay, cool. If this happens, if you do get pregnant, how are we handling this? And once that conversation is done and you believe whatever answer that it may be, then you should start taking that. Then you can start taking that chance as a man. Because the last thing you want is to deal with a baby mother. You know what I'm saying? So just to protect yourself, because I know, listen, when this, <laughs> when the vibe is right, when we lit, <laughs> shit, anything can happen. Mm-hmm. But when you're so talking to somebody aware. and you're like, yo, listen. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to use a condom. And she's like, all right, cool, me either. 
all right, if this happens, what is our next plan? Like, what can we both agree upon now? Mm -hmm. Now, it don't always go that way, but you do your due diligence as a man and allow her to be wrong. <laughs> a lot. Oh, oh. <laughs> he was going somewhere oh. with that. Oh. <laughs> Cooley, I see why he next to you now. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see that last part, huh? No, do it again. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this is my man Rico over here. Rico uh -huh. over here. Yeah, man, this is so your man, right? It's the vibes. Mm. Um, I would say, uh, yeah, man. Mm. Nowadays, strap up, be safe. There's <laughs> a lot of things going on in these streets. Um, things. Other than that, mm -hmm. let's get to the super chats. We got some more coming in. We got uh, Avada twenty seven cents in twenty dollars. He said it's Saturday, so extra love to your brother. He said fifty nine fifty nine slash fifty is a type of new era fitted. Oh, it is. <laughs> yeah. He said uh, Burberry bucket. Plump <laughs> and Coke bottle frames get my vote so far. So Burberry bucket. Mm -hmm. Then he said, um, plump red. So you over there. Oh, and then he said, juicy. and a Coke bottle frames. Okay, so I think he's talking about pink. That gotta be pink. <laughs> no, Coke, Coke okay, bottle. he said. He said, uh, y'all get the vote real quick. Okay, man. Hey. Um, and uh, we uh, we could play a little game and, and have y'all. I have to could have the lady stand up and have y'all vote. It depends on if we get a big super chat for that. If we get a big super okay. chat for that, I'll Hell have the yeah. lady stand up and y'all can rate the lady stand up in front of the camera and all that. <laughs> if y'all want to do that, so they gotta send a hundred. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. We gotta send a hundred, two hundred. Yeah, come on, y'all better pay one of the hundos on. I see it. Send That's a right. Yeah. Twenty are up. We it do that. Twenty are up. We do that. <laughs> Oh, um, no, we sorry. got uh, 20 are up Dan, this is a long uh, it must be from Africa, but no glove is God love. Give <laughs> 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 me the babies, me, I want them babies. Uh, <laughs> on, on Yuko and Tuko sends in two dollars. I guess that was his name. I can't pronounce your name, bro. Um, but no glove. Is God love or good love? No mm -hmm. love. Yeah. No glove, no if love. That's right. Right. No love. That shit only mean the glove. Three <laughs> seconds of love. Wait. That's three <laughs> seconds of love. I was about to agree with you. <laughs> All right, so let's get to some more. Who else got questions? That made me accumulate a oh, question, ahead. though. What'd Amber. You got? Oh, go oh, ahead. Oh, Amber? Yeah, yeah, yeah let <laughs> Amber go. You got one? Okay, all right. So um, I'm going to read somebody's question. It says... Who is it, who is it to, though? Directly to someone or the whole group? The whole group. Oh, whole group. The whole okay. group. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. So if a dude is snooping through your phone, do you find that feminine or masculine? Both. Okay, let's start. <laughs> uh, we started this here last time. Let's start Why are you laughing so hard? Diana, if a dude is snooping through your phone... Right, we go through the phone Yeah, if a dude is snooping through your phone, you find that feminine or masculine? Talk your shit. <laughs> hey, a bitch. To be honest, like hey, I don't know, it just depends. You know what I mean? Feminine, I guess, but really, if if the person feels like a type of way about saying he wants to get to the bottom of it, yeah, I guess, like you know, I don't know, think it's feminine or masculine at the same, like you know. Okay, okay. let's move right along. Uh, Mia, what do you think? Weird. I would feminine? say, I mean, that, I feel like that's a female thing. I feel like it's feminine. a female, yeah, yeah, like a female trait. Like females go through the phones and stuff like that. I mean, I've been through a phone, one phone, and I've had my phone tapped. But I mean, my Gmail been cracked. All of that. <laughs> you know, that's just been on Instagram. Mm -hmm. No, no tender, don't tend up for you. <laughs> what about you? Feminine, period. Feminine, okay, straight to it. Um, what about you? To be honest, feminine because men don't be giving a fuck that much. I feel like men only go through our phones if we go through their phones, mm -hmm. or that's my experience. I don't know, but yes, yeah, it's, it's a feminine a thing because men don't really be caring. And I got and a question after this too okay, for all the ladies. But go mm -hmm. ahead, Amber. I find it feminine. Just ask me. I'll hand my shit over, mm -hmm. whether it hurts your feelings or not. Yeah, you deleted okay. it already. <laughs> Non <laughs> let's, let's go with you, Ashley. Honestly, I feel like it's a masculine thing because they want to know what you got going on and they want to know they want to know who you talking to and how that person is looking, what kind of what they got going on. <laughs> like a bitch. Like they yeah, like, <laughs> my, 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 my turn, my turn, my turn, my turn. Yeah, go ahead, your turn. Yeah, yeah, bitch. Feminine, here, bitch. That was my so question. Feminine. You already know the vibe. There you okay. go. Your bitch. And, uh, what you think about that, Rigo? <laughs> yeah, he a ho ho. He's a ho ho. Okay. <laughs> like if you like, the keyword was snooping. You said a ho ho. Yeah. A ho ho. ho, -ho. 
W H O L E. H O E. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay. He's a whole hoe. <laughs> Just because he checking through my phone. Because he got something in his phone. No, he's snooping, snooping through your phone. This was my question, so I want to hear it. So hold on, hold on, hold up. Oh, no. Wait, you, you was about to answer it? No, I want to hear what he's saying. Oh, go ahead, Rico, my bad. Um, yeah, the key word was snooping through your phone. Mm-hmm. Um, if you snooping through your phone, that means you already uncomfortable and insecure. Thank as a you. Man. I was you should that. never be snooping through a phone. Jesus. But if you want to check her phone, you... Tell her, hey, I want to look through your phone. Exactly. Now, I don't think you should Say be to doing that too much, right? Right. But um, but if, need be, if you have questions, all right, whatever. <laughs> you can, you, if you have questions, go ahead and you, there's a way to go about it. But when you start snooping through your phone, my thing is, if you can't trust your girl, which most guys can't, regardless of what why she do, you right? Not why you with her, but if you can't trust her, understand that you just with somebody you can't trust. You like you don't need to be things. snooping through nothing that's going to drive you crazy, anyways. So is it feminine or masculine? He's a whole ho. Ho. Is that feminine? Yeah, yeah. So are you feminine? Yeah, feminine. Um, Moving I got on. a question for y'all. So yes. starting with you, Yaya, who do you yeah. think if someone is gonna be he checking didn't. someone's phone? Who do you think should be checking someone's phone, the man or the woman? If you want my honest answer, my honest answer is I don't believe either because so honestly, let me let me let me let me because I just need the uh, one or the other. So look, think about I it. I can right? because I don't do those shits. <clears throat> I know you don't. We had you on here last time. I'm gonna help you out though. So look, <laughs> if someone's gonna be checking someone's right. phone, right, in a relationship, like if someone's gonna be checking someone's phone. Who should have that authority of checking someone's phone, the man or the woman? It's so hard. I really can't answer. You want? I can't answer because I strongly <laughs> no. I strongly believe that yo, don't touch my phone. I won't touch you. I don't Privacy, look through dude's right. phone because the same conversation you can have with a therapist on the phone is the same conversation I can have with a close cousin, friend, mother, daughter, whatever the fuck <laughs> on my phone. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, so you're not answering the question. Right. So I can't let's just answer right that. Along. I can't. I'm Ashley. sorry. I can't answer it. Uh, if it's someone, someone, if it's someone that's gonna be checking a phone, who do you think should have that authority of I checking a so. phone, the man or the woman? <laughs> I think it should be the woman. Okay, move right. And actually, why? Damn. Can I you? think it should be the woman because it's like at the end of the day, you're with me. At the end of the day, you're sleeping here with me. You're doing this with me. What if you live with him? Right. Okay. Okay. Where, so okay. Where's your cool. brain? That's what you. <laughs> oh, Let's move right along, <laughs> Amber. <laughs> What do you think? I don't know. That's a tricky question because if my man come up to me and ask me to see my phone, I'm going to hand it over. But if he's snooping, then that's going to be an issue. Uh, but yeah, if yeah, I yeah. ask him to see his phone, he better give it to me without an issue. If it's an issue, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, look, look, look. That's not the question. Yeah, so, me. That's not the oh, question. no, because it could go both ways. Let me, Answer I'm the gonna question to him again. because he's saying yeah. that no food. No, bitches actually, don't have it. no brain. Zip, zip. If it's pay the other way look, around. Look, pay attention so y'all can understand the question. All right? The question is... If it's someone that's gonna be checking a phone, it's gonna be the female. I'm who should have the phone. authority? You said the female, okay. Uh, Asasia. Nobody. There's no authority. You gotta choose no. one. But but that's why you want to spot. That's my okay. Like, ask me one more time. Everybody, be quiet. Okay. If it's someone that's going to be checking the phone, <laughs> easy, you good? Checking the phone. You know uh, who should have the authority? The man or the woman? The man. Okay. Over here. The woman. Okay. Wait, you're not gonna ask. I would say the man too. The man? Mm-hmm. Okay. And yo, Diana. Just say one. The woman. The woman. Okay. So now I got another question for y'all. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I just want to show of hands. Show of hands, right? Or take it. We should have took a shot if. You know what I mean? Right. I agree. I agree. So show of hands and knees. Be ready so you can show the hands and keep your hands up, actually. So show of hands. Uh, who leaves relationship? Who's more likely to leave a relationship due to in? Uh, not that's not the question. This here's the question. Which one damages the relationship more due to infidelity, the man cheating or the woman cheating? Which one actually ruins the relationship woman, more? Woman, woman, for yeah. sure. Hands up for woman. Y'all are y'all are heartbroken. Hands up for woman. Yeah. Ashley. Yes or no? No hand up for you. She good? There you go. Ask her. <laughs> Ask her. Okay. You know, so the episode of SpongeBob where they can just turn it off and like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think I got the vibes too. Okay, so pretty it. much all of y'all he said that 
<laughs> uh, the woman is more likely to leave the relationship. <laughs> so here we go, ladies. Pay attention. Niggas I want leave to, first. I, okay, cool. I want y'all to get something from this podcast. You yeah, mentally, fun. physically, Ashley. and then detach. Okay, got you. Ashley, is my, I'm speaking. Okay, yeah. sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So I want y'all to leave with something from this podcast, some logic and understanding and some wisdom. Okay. So y'all all just agreed that women... If when a woman cheats, that damages the relationship more, right? And then not all of you, I think three of you uh, said that the man um, should have the authority, right? Three of you said that. Mm -hmm. But then four of you said that the woman should have the authority. So now for everyone that said that the woman should have the authority of looking at the phone, you're incorrect because you all, you just agreed that the woman, if she does cheat, the relationship's over. So that means that the man should have the authority of looking in the woman's phone because if she's doing something promiscuous or being obedient or misbehaving, the man needs to know because that's going to put the relationship in jeopardy. Make sense? If a man out there, he cheats one time, I'm not condoning it, but the relationship not over. But if a woman cheated, well, she let another nigga conquer her. She's for the streets and will always remain for the streets. So leave with that, if that makes any sense. Men, oh, we, no. we lead the relationship. Y'all all <laughs> want leaders anyway. Y'all want a leader, mm -hmm. right? Correct? Y'all want leaders. Mm -hmm. So since you want a man to lead, that man needs, re with responsibility of leading you, comes authority. Meaning that, I'm not saying snoop through your phone. But if he wants to look through your phone, mm -hmm. he has that authority of looking through your phone because if you cheat, the relationship is done. Can I say um, something? One second. Yeah, okay. Let's get my man Rico input on that. What you got on that, Rico? Come on, Rico. I agree. <laughs> uh, I concur. Um, no, I, I, do, I do agree only because um, not only that, the fact is that, you know, if a woman does cheat, it is more detrimental typically mm -hmm. to a relationship. But the fact that you want a man to be a leader, unless if you want a submissive man, which I don't know. <laughs> but if you want your man to be a leader, that means he's going to have to be leading in all aspects. And at times it's going to be an uncomfortable thing for you, but it's not nothing personal for you it's just a king trying to make sure he's keeping everything within the rules and regulations of where he's trying to guide y'all so don't take it personal or don't take it as it's as it's controlling if he's going to be the king of the castle there's obligations that he's going to have to do that might be something that you're uncomfortable with but it's not something that he's attacking you it's just something to make sure that everything is still moving afloat that's okay. facts. That's that facts. And uh, Sasha, you had a question? No, no. I just had a statement. I think the reason as to why it hurts more when a female cheats is because, I mean, you guys might not agree with me, but I feel like us females, we cheat with emotion. Yes. Yeah. I with just men, said that last part. Yeah, with men, they yeah. cheat just like, you know, off of instinct or just for the moment, mm -hmm. just thinking what they dick. Right. You feel me? So that's yeah. why a female, it'll hurt more because they cheat off of, you know, emotion and feelings and yeah. Yeah, emotions feeling but it is is even more deeper than that. Yeah. When a woman che when a woman sleeps with a man, she has to submit to a man. Right. And sex for a woman is the most ultimate form of submission. She literally spreads open her legs. Right. But what does it take to spread open her legs? She gotta like that guy to a high degree. And then she's letting someone dominate her and she's being submissive to another man. So therefore <laughs> I don't agree a with woman that. can't no, well I, a woman can't serve two masters. You can't submit to two people even us but what as about God. Why are we using the word master? What about escort? Exactly. What about the people okay. who's Drive. Fucking for money though. You're saying Seven she's gonna sets. spread her legs if she love him. She like, let everybody down there. I know, but nah, that's, that's, no, no, that's not part of what I'm talking no, about. No, no, that's that's, that's something you're moving a goalpost over to if woman is I'm talking about in the due to this conversation that we're mm -hmm. having, a woman that's in a relationship, if she's cheating, we know that there's, you know, escorts and girls that do, you know, sell their body and stuff like that. Um, that's That woman isn't serving anyone but herself, right? She's not serving any master. So what I'm saying that a woman can't serve two masters. If she's in a, whoever she submits to is her master at that time. A broke, a, a woman that's uh, selling her body and stuff like that, a prostitute, well, she's not submitting to anyone. She's just broken. You know, she's fully for the streets and will remain for the streets. So I wanted to let you know that it's just not emotions. It's literally like you're someone else is conquering you. When a woman cheats, the castle is ruined. It's powerful. It's done. <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, 
We got holding it down the whole in. time. That's fine. We got son of, uh, son of, son of, son uh, of. <laughs> sends him five dollars. <laughs> w, uh, I guess Yawa. Uh, I guess that could, what it could mean. Um, sends him five dollars. He says, if any aspire to be stay at home moms. If any inspired to be stay-at-home moms, what are the responsibilities for a stay-at-home mom? On, it's so and what much. do they expect of the father to do at home? Can you stand mm. with her? She got, okay. is a stay-at-home mom. <laughs> uh, we started here last time. Let's go over here. I think. Yeah, let's um, move over to you. So basically, you saying what's the main responsibilities if I'm staying home yeah, with the so kids? Yeah, so if yeah, if someone aspires to be a stay-at-home mom, um, what's the what's the main responsibilities of a stay-at-home mom, and then also, what do you expect the father to do? I expect the father to pay all the bills. Okay, then what? What do you? What would the stay-at-home mom be doing? <clears throat> I'm taking What's care of responsibilities. Household. Okay, I name feel like some. I'm not gonna allow everything. I'm gonna make sure he have lunch. I'm gonna wash the clothes. I'm gonna take the kids to appointments. I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna clean, run errands. What else? The interior designing, okay. making our house a home. There you go. All, all right. that. Clean the car. Well, I mean, it depends. <laughs> we could take turns doing that, but I don't know. If you're paying like all the bills, I'm very submissive. Wait, if he's take turns paying, doing what? Taking cleaning turns, the car. Cleaning the car. Oh, Men okay, like okay. to clean their cars. Yeah, 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 they do. Yeah, yeah. There what about you, Mia? Um, basically, the same thing that she said. I'm going to be doing everything, like, and he just got to bring home the bacon. I mean, if we have a front yard, though, like, we're going to have to <laughs> figure out who's lawn and that, like, mowing that shit because that, that ain't me. Okay. Uh, quick question. Do you want to be a stay-at-home mom? Do you as aspire to be a stay-at-home mom? I don't know. I like the hustle. I like to get to it. I don't know. Okay. What about you, Maya? I will, Mia. I would <laughs> love, I would love mm -hmm. to be a stay-at-home mom. I okay. would love to be somebody. You heard that, y'all? Yeah. <laughs> she gonna I say one more time. It. I really work hard, so yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about you, Diana? Everything that they said. Mm -hmm. Like I would do everything <laughs> in the household, whatever. Okay, so the, you'll be doing everything in the household, and then mm -hmm. do you aspire to be a stay-at-home mom? Um, if it comes with an allowance, yeah. <laughs> an allowance. <laughs> yeah, like if he if he gives Makes me sense. money weekly, yeah, yeah, right. I'll stay at home. Cause we still got stuff. We because I still I still got things I like to you know I like That's to look nice. Maintain yourself. Okay, okay. well so. I mean if you're a stay at home mom, if the man obviously the man is working out there getting the bread, so yeah. life is good for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you saying you want even an extra it. incentive? Like give me a little bit of extra. Of course, mm -hmm. yeah. of course, absolutely. Because there's things that I want to want to do, and I'm not oh, gonna want to be like. Oh, asking if Ask i can't go to work so, if i'm the, gonna be I at think home it's already expected for like um you know the woman that's at home right mm -hmm. it's already expected that like my woman is at home everything is fine with her she don't gotta do anything there's not no allowance when it comes to that right so like when a man is you know out there protecting and providing for a woman that's like expected so you're not asking for anything Mm -hmm. More than what's expected, then, right? Mm -hmm. Basically. Okay, okay, cool. Because the chat was probably about to eat you up. Like, dang, she want the, <laughs> she want the, she want uh, the, the, the trip the to Turks. No, because she <laughs> want the. <laughs> if I do ever okay. become a stay-at-home mother, mm -hmm. it's because my husband is very well off, mm -hmm. right? Okay. And he's gonna be able to. Pay me you want to have but access to same... that bank account so you don't have to ask him for every yeah, little thing. Exactly. You want to buy something online, you ain't got to text him. Like, exactly. Yo, can I, have this I want your card. Yes. I'm mm -hmm. out of buying But I also want to yeah. have my own thing too. Like, I want to have my own credit, my own cards. I want to have my own thing where if you, yeah, you're going to pay for my things too. Why? Like, At the same time, you're going to be home so you're going to have more time for yourself. You're going to have time to invest in yourself. Wait, wait, ladies. Why do you want your own? I'm going to tell you why I want my own. Because nothing is forever. So you. So I'm. Yeah. Hold on. He he's gonna pay mm -hmm. me weekly and I'm gonna save some money, whatever it is. <laughs> and I like and that. And if I I'm not if he leaves me, I'm not out for that. Like right, you know you, what I mean? You, I got you put credit money cards, back. I got you put things that I could pay my own shit with. Like what do you mean? So I agree with her, but forever. I feel like if you get with somebody, you I should have all your shit together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Real quick. Oh, let let this discourse happen real quick okay. and then I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it to y'all. Okay. Go ahead. So you think that it's okay for a woman notes. to be a stay-at-home mom as long as she could plot her exit? Ooh. It's not plotting your exit. It's always that's making sure you straight. That's the end. Yeah, but that's... But because y'all men are unpredictable. But you said husband, right? Let me tell you. You so, know I can uh, talk my shit. Let, let, but, but, let me go speak. You said husband. So as a husband and a wife, and 
the marriage you unite as one mm -hmm. so if you're uniting as one and he's saying look i'm about to take care of everything that you need you have a access to you have a mm -hmm. card you are the authorized user of this mm -hmm. card etc cetera, etc cetera. and all you have to do is take care of the home not all but your job is to take care of the home my job is to take care of the outside mm -hmm. right that means he's not plotting for an exit he's not He's not planning for you to leave. Mm -hmm. There's no intention in his mind to make a backup plan in case you don't in case you don't do what you want to do and you decide to just bounce. Okay. So what happens is when we get to this conversation is like why do men not want to be married or why do men fear marriage, right? The answer <laughs> is this is the example because if I go and I bust my behind and I provide and protect and I do everything for my wife, not my girlfriend, my wife, she's still thinking in the back of her head that this is a possibility, this is not going to work, and she wants to be okay when it doesn't. And for a man, that's uncomfortable because you got to understand that we're sacrificing everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand your point, but you also got to understand us as women. We go through certain things throughout life that we have to make sure, okay, in the back of our head, nothing lasts forever. Okay. Right now, so you could go, you hold on, quick. he no, could real go quick, Real fine. quick, real quick, real quick, because I heard the discourse, right? So now you bring it in. You didn't really understand what he said. Mm -hmm. Y'all not understanding what no, I'm saying. I understand what you, I'm about 100%. to let you know that I truly understand what you're saying. I'm going to look out for myself. I got you. That's Just what you're doing. No, it's not a problem. Yeah, look, look, Diana, what you're doing is this. I got you. I'm going to okay, give it to you. I, 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 I can lay out a prime example. I got you, Diana. All right, go ahead. So what you're doing, what you just said. Well, you know, you, you don't understand what women go through and stuff like this. You you just said that. Okay, cool. You don't understand what the man went through. The, what you're doing is bringing in your past traumas and your past mental conceptions of all the things that the dudes that imprinted on you, that's giving you, conf, you know, making you feel some type of way. So you're bringing that to the relationship. So that's why you have this type of this attitude and these motives to have an exit plan. That's the reason why you have an exit plan. So you're just ha your excuse, your reasoning for it is past traumas. He's saying that his reason he could ha say the same excuse. Well, well, I've been through some things too, and girls could have let me down, so I should have an exit strategy. Mm -hmm. But guess what? When a man is fully protecting and providing for a woman, it's just in us. We don't have any exit strategy. We're literally giving our all to him. We'll take a bullet for you. So what you what you were about to say and what you were alluding to, it's all in void because no one cares about your past traumas. You need to leave the past to the past and focus on your man. But the thing is that you have this women tend to have like an exit strategy, like, oh yeah, I want it for me. Like, yeah, buy me this, cause yes, this could happen, this could happen. When we're buying our girl a car, paying the bills, we're not thinking well, she could leave me. She could cheat on me. She can do all these things. No, we but doing it this happens, out of love. Though. It even happens. It, can I piggyback? Yeah, because even, I absolutely agree with you. I feel like you're either all in or you're mm -hmm. all out. Like, yeah. you can't expect a, a, a man to be doing all of these things and have your foot halfway out. Right. And, like, don't get me wrong because I will, I'm all in and mm -hmm. I've been hurt mm -hmm. from yes. being all in. And yeah. I've been, what I call it is past hurt is betrayal mm -hmm. at that point mm -hmm. when right. you're all in. And a lot of people don't understand that feeling because a lot of women don't go all in. Mm -hmm. A lot of right. women have one foot stepped out mm -hmm. and one foot in. But when you really all in and two feet in, yeah. it you feel right. that pain. So, like, I get it on your end, but I, I really understand it from the, a mm -hmm. male's perspective. I have a son. I never want him to be in that position where he's all in and sure he got her foot halfway out because right. she feel right. if a man is providing in the right sense all the way, you're not going to have one foot out because anything that you need is going to be met. Right. But I right. agree with that. Hold on, but I'm not off. saying one foot out because my feet are going to be all the way in, especially if you're providing or whatever. I'm saying as a just in case, I would like to have my own things because if you decide one day, I'm talking, this, this pertains mm -hmm. to the men. If y'all decide to walk out of my life at any point because, yes, it has happened. I know somebody right now, currently, a millionaire who takes care of his wife, his whole household, everything, everything, everything. Mm -hmm. And he wants to divorce his wife. Like, he wants to leave. Mm -hmm. And she don't got nothing. That's like, to her name. Like, he's the mm -hmm. one who, everything. And if they leave, obviously, alimony, all that, you know, whatever. But it's just to, 
for me, it's still the same thing. Like I'm just saying, like I'm not saying, oh, I won't have my all my foot in. I would, but just in case, you have to have a backup plan. Let like, me give you an prepared. analogy. Let me you know give you what I mean? Analogy, mentally right? prepared because so, it happened. It just just destroys, because y'all yeah. all sacrificing and y'all all in, I know this person has been with his wife for 25 years, yeah, yeah. and he's ready to leave. Right, see, I see yeah, your yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Here's here's, here's right. what you're doing because I don't. Yeah, I truly still don't understand. When a man is when a man is protecting and providing for a woman, meaning that she he's he's sacrificing his time and giving her the ability, taking taking the full burden of of her having to work, the full burden of her having to be out in the economy and compete with other human beings to to work her way up in the in the uh, in the industry of whatever field she's working at. He's taking away all of those burdens and he's putting it on himself. So that's a full sacrifice. There isn't no foot out the door or anything, right? Mm -hmm. But what, how you're explaining it, like, yeah, well, it's the mental mindset. Yeah, you still saying like, oh yeah, I'm still be uh, submissive and I'm a, you know, handle my responsibilities at home. But if in case, I need an exit plan, right? So it's still like one foot in, one foot in, and one foot out. It'll be the the equivalent is this: if a man is going fifty fifty with you, because that's one foot in, mm -hmm. one foot out. Oh, you well, I'm paying half of the bills then. I'm not gonna pay all of it. Right. I need one foot in. I need one foot out. That's why. So literally, is, what mm -hmm. you're saying is, if you want things to be equal, really, what you want is a nigga to go fifty fifty, mm -hmm. and so you can have one foot in and one foot out. That's not what I'm saying. It's Match very your important. Energy. Match your energy. No, yeah. no, no. That's not what I'm stating. Y'all got me all the way wrong. So there's a word for what you're t what you're doing, and it's or saying it's called you're catastrophizing. Just protecting yourself. It's protecting. Hold on. It's not even protecting yourself. It's not even about that. It's a just in case. Y'all men switch up. Regardless if y'all sacrifice, y'all give everything. Whatever. I've seen it happen. Y'all, if y'all yeah. wanna leave and y'all walk out, y'all get tired of your girl for twenty years, and y'all wanna get better with, with, with y'all wanna go to the younger girl. I just seen it. I just seen but it. But I believe there's not a just in case because if you go into something, you should be a hundred percent ready no, for that. No, and I'm a hundred percent. I'm a hundred percent type of girl. But mm -hmm. I'm saying there's a lot of men that are not a hundred percent. If they meet a girl and they get their eyes full and they start falling in love, it has happened, and they wanna be like, I'm out. I wanna leave with this girl. I wanna mm -hmm. live with her. I, no matter how hard y'all work, it has happened. So, 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 so that's so, what I'm so, trying. So state. let's it just, has that's not a fact men. at all. So listen, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Be let, in it all uh, the way y'all be providing <laughs> I got you, all that extra. I got you, <laughs> Diana, <laughs> Diana, I got you. So it's look, still here's the dirty. facts. Here's the facts, because y'all just talking nonsense now. No, Men don't, don't leave women. 50% of fifty percent of marriages end in divorce. 80% of those divorces, the woman initiates it. So yeah, you're saying like, I know a man that left a woman and he had everything and she ain't, he was doing everything for her. She was a stay-at-home mom and he just ended up leaving. That's a very rare scenario. Even in relationships, not even being married, men don't usually break up with girls. Like, because when that's what that, they cake and No, no, too. listen, it doesn't matter. We don't break up with our woman. So if we smash in something else, we're not going to leave our woman. That just doesn't happen. That's not all the time. You heard what uh, I just yeah, said. It's not. That's what not I'm all saying the time. is, we're not speaking about possible, you, you're speaking about the exception. The it's exception the doesn't exception. make the rule. You, you the see rule. this a lot, though. No, you, you saying you see it a lot. Okay, <laughs> let's, for an example, do you see uh, comments hit earth a lot? No, but guess what? Comments do hit Earth. I think it's like a uh, hundred something comments that hit Earth a, Earth a year, but we never see it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you get what I'm saying? So it's an exception, but it doesn't make the rule. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, you're speaking about something, but it's not prevalent. It doesn't mean that it always happens. I'm speaking about something that generally happens. Men, when we're in a relationship, we don't leave our girl. If we want to tag some other porn on the side, I'm not saying that is good or, or righteous or anything, but we would still stay with our girl. When a woman, she doesn't do that. So, uh, this is funny. Uh, son of Yahweh says in $2, nicknamed the one in pink, Flamingo. <laughs> one foot out. Nice. 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 But um, I wanted to tell you that the ideology that you have in the mindset is called catastrophizing. And a lot of women do it. And basically what that is is when a woman is preparing for the tragedy rather than focusing on what is per mm. currently happening in their relationship or time. Mm. See, I and felt I, that. I don't want to so, manifest it right off the bat. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, oh, this ain't going to work out. I don't want to manifest that. But sometimes, like, and that's the thing, it does happen, like Cooley said, from past traumas. It does mm -hmm. happen from your past experiences. And there Absolutely, is... Absolutely, and I agree with that. And there is a problem when you hear the outside noise and you think that that could be your reality. Now, trust the, thing the thing is this. The thing is this. There are men that do leave their wives that may have been 20, 25 years, right? And instead of saying, oh, it happens, we need to figure out why it happened. Because don't get, don't get it 
misconstrued. There are women who are stay-at-home moms who said they want to be a stay-at-home mom. They never want to work, but guess what? They bicker, complain, and give mm-hmm. that man hell every time he mm-hmm, comes home. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. now, if he wants to leave, that's not all, only on him. No, no, no. That I was on that yeah. that that house was a battlefield mm-hmm. in yeah. different ways. And, and, no, your, and your woman's supposed to be your piece. But, yeah, but if a man leaves a woman, that woman definitely did something wrong. Because anytime I hear like a girl be like, "Oh yeah, my man broke up," I'm like, "Wait, what's wrong with you?" Because yeah. mm-hmm. niggas don't leave girls. I was like it's just something in us when we got our poon we call it out that's why when we nailing it <laughs> call me daddy it's mine we say that for a reason because we don't want to leave uh if we wanted to be forever even if we stop yep. really liking you that much we still not gonna like mm-hmm. you know what i mean throw you to the side we're gonna keep you and do some other things can i say one last Go ahead. thing my bad rico and to piggyback mm-hmm. off all of this right i want all the women to understand that not every man, because there are the outliers, but most men who have a family mm-hmm. that is providing for that family, they don't want to leave that family. Mm. So in order for a man to say, I'm out of my family, that means there is a lot of things happening in that relationship that he's dealing with mm-hmm. that he may not be saying, or maybe he is, and it's just not being understood. So don't ever just think of it from the one side of the coin where the girl is going to be left with nothing. If that man has been taking care of his family for 20 years and he wants to be out, <laughs> there's, there's a lot of other things that's going on there. Yeah. Word. Let's uh let's get let's move this question around to this couch now. Um <laughs> so I got you, I got you. No, we kinda went on. We kinda we kinda got in deep. So uh son of Yahweh sends him five dollars. That's it was his question. He said Well boom boom, okay, boom. Uh if you Oh, actually I asked the question off of that. I said, um thing, let me see. He said if anyone's Oh, the question is do you aspire to be a stay at home mom? Oh yeah, that was I forgot. Oh, yeah. Hell no, right. I said yeah. Hell no. Okay, you do aspire to be a stay at home mom. It's just different because I'm going to lie, like I like I kind of like working. Mm-hmm. Like I like to do stuff that I like to do and get paid. That's basically mm-hmm. what I'm doing now. But I don't feel like in a way as like my do providing, so I'm making money to hold it just in case. I look at it like we could really build a legacy, you feel me? You getting money coming in, I'm getting money coming in. We could really build off that and just be big out here. Like, nigga, like, sorry, fuck. <laughs> uh, okay, nah, I know, like, I know what you like, mean. I know what you mean. Stay at home, mom, though. I mean, yeah, shit, okay. why not? At the end of the day, if to have more children and build my family, if he's doing everything he needs to do, then I should have no worries if that's where it comes to. Mm-mm. Okay, cool. Um, And then you also agree with the other ladies with the responsibilities being you know the feminine submissive role cooking cleaning doing all of that yeah, I don't mind. and then it's also like the man easy. out there working okay and um ashley what about you do you aspire to be a stay-at-home mom no i do not aspire to be a stay-at-home mom why not i don't aspire to be a stay-at-home yeah. mom because i know what it's like out here trying to sit here and fend for yourself and build your own business and sit here and do shit for yourself. You can't sit here and depend on the nigga that you're with that, okay, just because I'm in a relationship with you, I'm going to expect you to succumb to my at most because you're with me. I'm here. I'm experiencing different shit than you have. I'm here. I'm seeing shit that you never have. I know how to maneuver within all of this shit. I know how to sit here to get to the midpoint. Got you. So let me ask you a question. You just want to be a nigga then? <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not that I want to be a nigga. It's just that I'm crying. The you niggas want to be a man. The niggas want to be like me because it's like you can't. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't. Like no. It's not even that I want to be a nigga. No. It's a difference because at the certain point in time, I'm feminine when it needs to be. Yeah. But certain men, they don't uphold the standard to certain women to sit here and build that. Mm. Okay, so it's I like, why, why should I sit here no, and sit for a nigga that's working from a nine to five and not having the same mentality as me? You're working the nine to five. You're gotcha. not coming off. Well, you, well, you're well, not coming off your job thinking you, you need saying. to do so, something else. But you gotta else. take accountability because if you're ever with a man that isn't doing his job, you chose that man. So let's move right along. <laughs> uh, no, Amber, do, 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 do. do you aspire no. to be a stay-at-home mom? I am a stay-at-home mom. I you work are. from home and I stay at home, take okay. care of my kids, the house. What, what a, now, what about the dynamic of the man working and you don't got to work? Do oh, you aspire? that would be nice. <laughs> yes, that would okay. be really nice. Would All right, be. cool. And what about you? Uh, so Sajin? it sounds all nice and sweet, but my parents 
my mother was a stay-at-home mother and for me seeing it like she was miserable oh you're um, using your past trauma no no to... i'm not using my past trauma i'm going off of experience okay you know what i mean so i would love to be a stay-at-home mom but seeing how it affected my own mother and my father because you know he's coming home from work and then my mom not knowing you know she's not with him every step of the way at work so he's exhausted but my mom thinking he have all the energy i'm sorry if my parents see this <laughs> she not knowing he's miserable and exhausted she's expecting this this that from him so then they become miserable in the relationship you know what i mean so it sounds okay. all sweet and nice but i don't think i would be able to you don't think you'd be able to i'm be to be exhausted I all right i would have Here. i would be a stay-at-home mom and love to have my like my own hustle you know my stuff mm -hmm. i can do like okay yeah. fair, fair, fair enough. enough fair enough let me get to the super chats and then we're gonna um get into some more questions here uh so we got aaron johnson sends in ten dollars he says protect your wallet there's plenty of woman who speaks the way the lady in pink thinks strap it up because <laughs> it's not off they're back. <laughs> Girl, why are they uh, playing with Money you? is always the end game. Can't get pregnant if it's swallowed. And I'm pretty sure oh. you're single. That's the thing. Yeah. Everyone got a comment, but believe it or not, there's a lot of dudes out here that, like... Be acting like bitches. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, like, that one our money, too. And ladies, once again, it's the chat. Uh, you yeah, don't you have good. to take yeah. it personal. You can take it personal. SMD. You can shoot the shot back. SMD. Okay. Okay. Shit. Okay. 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 Oh, she's holding her shit. Can we write SMD. her profile? And that's why you probably single. <laughs> Feminine as fuck. SMD. Okay, uh, Aaron Johnson, uh, she, wow. she coming back with some heat. They said send in your yeah. profile. Uh, if you Ooh. want that, you got to send a $20 super chat. Well, we'll, we'll have the girls rated. Let's talk about um, it. But anyways, appreciate your support, Aaron Johnson. Corey Hill sends in ten dollars. He says a guy that has a lot of money is not going to help your business when he already built it's the about castle. The, it's that about the mindset and the knowledge. You can get I mean, a girl. But his castle a isn't in which time frame? <laughs> Like girls need a hobby. Like a woman that's mm -hmm. just home all the time, they could be bothering you. They could just Facts. it's just not good for you. Ladies, I'm it's speaking. It's nothing to just do but me, bother niggas. Yeah, let me get it. Yeah, let me they just don't get like this what out. Saying, that's uh anyways, uh, as I was saying, um yeah, women at the end of the day, um, they need hobbies. So a man that's out there working and providing and allowing the woman to, you know, stay at home. Yeah, I don't really recommend her building anything if it's already built, because what are you doing? You're just taking that time can go go to creating more kids for me or helping the kids in other ways where the kids don't got to be in school, being indoctrinated by some weird people where we can instill our own values into our kids. Okay. So that's the best way to do things. But um, let's go on to the next super chat. So we got 22 laws. Sends in ten dollars. He says, "I guarantee the rich man was smashing her, smashing her, raising her up with that pillow talk game, like he wanted to leave his wife the whole time. Mm. <laughs> it's a smash, but he never leave. leaving. <laughs> what is he talking about? Oh, her, because she said about yeah, the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because she was nah, talking I'm about crying. you was talking about some millionaire. <laughs> that was, yeah, yeah, I don't know no. personally, but the millionaire yeah. wasn't hitting me. He wasn't in me. No, okay. he's saying the girl person who that, he was hitting. The young girl. Me. Huh? The young girl that he was going to leave with. Mm -hmm. oh, he's not no, leaving him. He wasn't leaving he re he with was another her. girl. It was just, okay. you know what I mean? It was just, yeah. Like, Pillow talk. Okay. No, um, he wasn't pillow talking with me. No, no, you were right, not saying Yo, thanks for the support, man. Uh, we got, uh, you know, I mean, a lot of people in here right now tuning in and, you know, sending in some super it's chats. Spicy, that's so spicy. continue to send in these super chats. We lit right now, man. We got my man Rico Hondo in the building. Yeah, right. Thanks, Thanks, Come on, my pretty. Ring, 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 ring. You got to dance. You got to play. This is what you should take a shot. Very no fugazi. Very no fugazi. We got a couple fugazi. Yo, wait. I wanted to do the water for you, real quick. Sure, go ahead. You know what's so crazy, right? Like, y'all didn't even peep how things went full circle, right? Right. Cooley was saying before how men don't leave their wives and shit like that, right? Bullshit. Mm -hmm. Right? Then yeah. I just said when we first started the podcast, the best way to break up, and I was like, I don't, I let them break up right. with me. Yeah. Right. I already knew. So, yeah. so, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's how you understand that, like, the men, the mindset of men is really, like, almost synonymous. It's not all the way synonymous, synonymous but it's very, very I have a close. Question. What is, so then, what does it gotta take for you in order to leave the woman? If it, you know, does get to that. If like, she, she cheats, don't leave you, you yeah, just yeah. You're still gonna stay with her though if she well, cheats? cheating and non-compliance. Okay. Yeah. Like, those two things are the things that I'm, I can't tolerate. Insubordination. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, like, are we okay, in school? Principal. We're in school. Yeah. 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 Y
Oh my god. 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 Oh Actually, I got some yeah. questions. Uh, uh, so let, me, let me see what we got today. I do have some questions for y'all. Uh, actually, any questions? I know you had another one. I got, I, I got some. I got a question. Oh, Girl, give it. Yeah, Mine is really lit. Yeah, Girl, okay, I'll read, read it. it. Wait, you better be. Nah, because y'all not going to read it like how I'm going to read it. Oh, can oh, I? Not so. Oh, who's that? No, Whoever you come on. You go ahead with your question. No, you got it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Which one? Go ahead. All right. You want me to go ahead with you my question? They want you to go ahead with your question. <laughs> you no, I'm not. Cooley doing his thinking, thinking. <laughs> Cooley is doing his thinking. I'm looking at questions. Go ahead. You got a question? You want me to ask you? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you listening. I'm, I'm listening. Go ahead. Mm-mm. All right. If a dude breaks, like this way. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. If a dude, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yeah, yeah, you love it. Yo, yeah, yeah, I'm out of yeah. my question. Yeah. Yeah. You're not in the camera. No, no stop if playing with me. Yeah, stop ahead. playing with me. Go ahead, Ashley, you go, go ahead. No, because that's the first beginning of the sentence. I right, just read your question. <laughs> then we try okay, to be right. then, If a dude breaks up with you, right? Mm-hmm. Then a week later. You start having a conversation with a next nigga, calling them baby, telling them that you can meet them up, whatever. Are you wrong for talking with that nigga? The if you next that day? Dude? No, no, the, the next, next week. week. She said a week. The next week? The next week. You in a week how, how, y'all, how, y'all, 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 y'all break up a very nasty breakup. Nasty breakup, fish throwing, things throwing, <laughs> shit throwing. So how long was y'all together for? <laughs> yeah, how long is it together for? Two years. Oh shit! Mm. Uh, I mean, if mm-hmm. she she let the nigga smash her, she just talking. No, to dude. it was just a conversation. Oh, a conversation. Mm-hmm. Just oh, okay. a conversation. Mm-hmm. And just cause in a conversation you seen Shorty calling nigga baby. Why did I see this? Yeah, how we see it? <laughs> if, if, if he broke break up, up, yeah, right. Y'all, y'all the little. Let little... me help you out. There you so go. you pretty Make much saying sense. that. You pretty much saying that a male and a female is in a relationship and they, a breakup happens and oh, then yeah. a woman. Then goes starts communicating with another guy. Yeah. Do we do we consider that bad? Yeah. I Is mean, uh, for me personally, if I break up with a chick, she ain't gonna. Every dude's still gonna be invisible for at least a year. She gonna be she gonna be sprung. That's a fitty. Like this. Um, <laughs> yeah, she ain't even gonna be emotional. She ain't even gonna have the, yeah, but it's like... the capability to even talk to another dude because. She's not agree. with me no more. It's but true. can I say something? I agree. So you go. But can I say something? Go ahead. You want us to make it feel like that, that you're the only one and that you're the only one that I can talk to or can say this to or say that to. So that's why I should not approach somebody else or that's why I should not have a conversation with somebody else because you feel so entitled to the point that, oh, no, no, I should no, not I be with somebody else till that. a year. I'm not saying that the man feels entitled to anything. If the relationship ended and the man ended the relationship and she's doing something, if she, it's like this, if she ended the relationship and then a week later she's talking to another nigga, she for the streets, she already had plans to be in the streets. Mm-hmm. But if the man ended the relationship and then she's talking to another dude a week later, I'm saying that the type of man I am and the and the and how I impose my will on the relationship, uh, she's not even gonna have the capability to even speak English, really. Right, right. Listen, really, if, if she really if she really she's gonna be but 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 for another dude like a you know just a regular dude i mean yeah she may talk to a nigga like me if she really fucked with him though she wouldn't be on to the next that fast yeah but if she meet me or rico she no that's what i'm telling her like if she really fucked with him like she wouldn't be on to the next that fast she wouldn't be trying to conversate with other niggas she's still gonna be stuck on her man this is what i'm saying ladies pick up what i'm putting down just break it down so i already gave the example that for me and how i impose my will on a relationship Mm -hmm. the woman doesn't have the capability the capacity within her to be talking to another guy if i break up with her just within a week but i'm saying that if it's a dude that's not of my value, <laughs> she is going to talk to another dude of our value. Facts. Right, right. But if he wasn't of your value, week, she wouldn't be with him for, for two years. <laughs> if it wasn't of her got, value. I'm about to break this question down. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Makes go ahead. sense, though. But uh, good question. You got another one? Nah, let's skip. Uh, 
<laughs> Any questions over here? <laughs> yeah, you don't want no more. You don't want no more of my questions. <laughs> you don't want no more of my questions. Yeah, have a question over here? No? No questions? Um, oh, you got a question? Oh, go ahead, Asia. <laughs> Can a long distance relationship work? Long can a long distance relationship um, will kill you. I can't do long yeah. distance yeah. relationship. Uh, no, I'm so uh, touchy. Oh, yeah, this is like an anonymous answer. We yeah. all like, nah. So it's yeah. no. Everybody's yeah. just like, yeah. no. You could be long distance for about six months. Or like if nah, you met someone somewhere else. Nah, nigga, if you in yeah. Atlanta and I'm over here, we got about three months. If the Atlanta's crazy. Too, that's okay. that's three like, months. Like, that's not personal. Like you got it, four it days. It is personal. You said four days. So Atlanta? he's in Atlanta. Nah, I'm good. Okay, so I got another one. Nah, if you in Atlanta, we not even lasting. We not even lasting if you in Atlanta. Nah. If you in somewhere like Nebraska, I give you time. Who in Nebraska? What? That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> His shorty in Nebraska. His shorty in Nebraska. Oh, yeah? No, I'm just saying, like, Nebraska ain't shit really going right. on. Like, oh, so you trust them? I don't know yeah. if Oh, so you trust them? I trust a little bit more. Oh. Not Atlanta. What? So, oh, hold on. So, uh, no, 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 no. We actually yeah. gonna get into it. Let me read the super chats and we're gonna get into your question. All right. Uh, we got Tony Barnett. Hey, man. Tony Appreciate back. the support, Tony. Tony back. Um... For those of you who want a traditional <laughs> nuclear family, so those would be the woman that said yes to being a stay-at-home mom. Um, so to those of you who want a traditional <laughs> nuclear family, is there a successful couple in your life that is an example? I'm married 29 years with four adult kids. Okay, so that's what Tony said. Okay, so the that's ladies dope. that said that they want... A traditional relationship, a stay at home, a man that's working and the woman is staying at home with the kids. Um, is there an example? Yes. Oh, uh, my. Let's go with you. My grandmother and my grandfather, they were married for like 50 years. They died together. We got their plots on top of each other. My grandmother was a stay at home of six. My mom is one yeah, of six. Beautiful. Okay. She held it down in the crib. Pops brought it home and it was magical. That's made it magical my mom got three kids like there's six of her you know them so yeah. you, we big you feel me so it was magical for us growing up with my and, and a lot of us the grandkids we grew up uh, my cousins we grew up together at m my pop and my grandma's house yeah you feel me because she was at home you go there after school like it it's she built there's a foundation that a woman builds as well along with the man it's just within the home Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I always say men, we create the resources or so men create things and women create people. Fact. So like the man's legacy is what he created, what he built. You know, uh, the uh, the woman's legacy is the people she created. So she all the mm -hmm. grandkids and things like that, mm -hmm. the traits that she instills into the grandkids and everything. So, yeah, that's a beautiful thing. Anyone else has an example of a I woman? Know. Damn, I no, you don't want. Okay, fair enough. All right, cool, cool. Uh, See, good it, question, that's Tony. That's right. Damn, um, Aaron Johnson, <laughs> hey, he's back. Aaron Johnson sends in ten dollars. He says, "I'm happily married of thirteen years, and mm -hmm. I've never heard my wife speak like that." So, question: How? Yeah, ladies, uh, Ashley, <laughs> relax. I'm reading super chats. So, question: How many of you, with your kid's father? Now, how many of you kids' father is in the attorney general system? So, how many of you mm. ladies are with the kids' father, <laughs> or <laughs> got, if, uh, child got a child support? <laughs> Start so, one by uh, Oh damn! Show of hands, who's with the kids' father? Well, who has kids? Now let me stop. We have kids. Yeah. Okay, they all got kids. Everybody got kids. You except got kids. Me. Okay, except everybody me. got That's kids, why. but except Ashley. Me. Cool. Yourself. So now, who's with the kids' father? Show of hands. It's, it's put the camera on the other cup. All right, so yeah, y'all ain't, ain't in the. Uh, you just said you were single. Two time every week. No, quite, see, you watching too hard. He never asked Ooh. me. He uh -huh. asked everybody else except mm -hmm. for me. You single? Yeah, he didn't even yeah. ask me. Well, well, I did ask you. A trait, as you said. Yeah, you didn't ask me. Yeah, fun fact. There we go. That's what I am about to say something, Mad Brooklyn, but I'm sorry. Oh, why? Go ahead. What's your relationship status? It's it's single, but it's like anonymous. <laughs> it's anonymous. Yeah. It's anonymous. <laughs> no, you didn't ask her. She just told right, me that she wasn't single. Yeah, you okay, really didn't ask her. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I but didn't. But it's it's opportunity there. 
Okay, you single. Um, <laughs> yeah, you saying that there's opportunity there. So that means, yeah. let's decipher this chat. She just said, I'm single, but there's opportunity there. The opportunity right. is your baby father? Right, meaning... Okay, so look, meaning this. You okay. didn't got to speak, I speak for you. The opportunity, meaning that this nigga lacking, he's inadequate in some way. So yeah, it's an opportunity. If he gets his life together, then I'll, you know, let him stay in the house with me. Because this nigga back I and forth too much. broke that down. I was right? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Hey, uh... <laughs> Ain't shit ass nigga. Ain't <laughs> shit ass nigga. <laughs> we, we, we live with it. That's we live with it. I'm an expert at this. I hope you watch this. I hope you watch right. this. So let me get to the last super chat. And then Rico, we going to keep your question handy. Uh, uh, we got Aaron Johnson. Wait, you didn't finish oh. that question. Wait, what? You didn't finish her question. The baby dance shit. Oh, actually, you already finished. Yeah, it's okay. How many of you were with them? Oh, yeah. The child support oh, part. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. So, question. Show your <laughs> yeah, hands real quick. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, none of y'all not with the baby father. Mm-hmm. So, how many of y'all got the baby father on child support? Show your hands. Hello, you better pay me. Be honest. Oh. My, my baby father is right, right. My baby father's in Guatemala, so he can't pay child support. So, I ain't lying. Listen, if he do his part... Yo, you Ooh. punch your baby father in the face and you ain't got him on CP? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta punch him again. You gotta punch him again. Punch my baby father in the face. Oh, when well, you said y'all yeah, fought. <laughs> and then in the face. Yeah, so I, I assume you punch him in his face. Okay, okay. That's okay. funny. So, uh, Rico, let's get to your question, bro. Okay, I got question A and B. Okay. I'm gonna give it to Amber. Decide A or B. Go. B. Okay, B. Question oh, B so cool. is... This this question is for the ladies. Mm. Have you ever dated a man that was an actual asset? A uh, asset, not a, li- not, a liability. not a liability. Yeah, I mean by like that, I mean like somebody who was what we would consider a high value man. Yes. Like he got to the bag, he took yes. care of his family, he yep. stood on business, he stood on morals. Yes. Yeah, and who is that man? Is that your baby father? Oh, so let, let's make this conversation. Because I'm, I'm curious. Say, I'm curious. Now. You make it right. You make it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's make this conversation. Concise. You're making me smile. So, the question is: Have you ever dated pretty much a high value man? Yeah. And you said, let's just start with you. Yes, you said I have. yes. Where is this man now? All right, so <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna keep it. Turn above. her mic off. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I, did, I, I did look at him as a high value. When we first got together, he was a high value man. Mm-hmm. Now, now, it's not like that. But he knows how to provide. You get what I'm saying? But I've dealt with a man who was not him, but of that, you know, nature. Of that. Put oh yeah, like he that. definitely. Y'all gonna fight when y'all get home. So he wait. Mm-hmm. You telling me that he went downhill when y'all myself. got together? Huh? No, like a little bit after. He went downhill when y'all got together. A little bit after, like once you know things happen, things happen. He got police, comfortable, maybe all that, like oh, police mm-hmm. and stuff. Oh, he was in a system with some other stuff doing. There you go. That was various a, activities. That's, that's why I use the word asset. Mm-hmm. Okay, not yeah. a that's not us because <laughs> although he might have been able to do a lot of things, it, it was, was always liability. Yeah, it was yeah, always a lot of highly, yeah. highly. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good asset. <laughs> <laughs> all Girl. right, other ladies. Anybody else? Mm-mm. No. no, I mean, that's why I'm single. <laughs> okay. No, I haven't. Because if I did, he would be right uh-huh. here. You think so? Yeah, I believe so. So, I mean, she so to it's, be a, here. it's yeah. a two-part question. So the second part uh-huh. of that is, if you haven't ever experienced that, how do you know how to sustain it once you do? Start in, start in uh, with Yaya. Oh my gosh, why you gotta start with me? Because we're gonna go around the panel. I just feel like it should come natural. If he's like doing what he's supposed to do, I would automatically do what I'm supposed to do. I just feel like. Alright, that's not the question. Hold up, I'll help All you right, out. So yeah, yeah, say the, the question. question yeah, say the yeah, question. Yeah, how do you sustain it? Me? Yeah, how do you sustain it? So if you've never dated a man that is a high value I mean, asset. You could teach me, like at the end of the day. So can. Okay. My question is, I don't want to get too far into that, right? But I'm just going to, one question only. Why can only that man teach you? 
Because he'll know what he's looking for. Okay, I don't Can I ask you something? Though? What's high value to you? Like, yeah, if somebody would ask you, because I'm what's thinking high right value? now, and from the experience I got, at least I could say I, I do have a guy who's very much a provider and he does everything right. And if I'm speaking honest, it's me who kind of don't want it. So you ask me, how can I sustain it? It's like, I don't know. I guess he got to be the guy I want. If but he's money doing is just it, not about you. Yeah, he is simp. It's like, not just um, about money. But I'm not just talking <laughs> right. about money. Right, that's what I'm saying. Can you but be more I, specific? I mean, across the board, like he's checking out nine out of the ten boxes. Mm -hmm. okay. So he, he, he is attractive. He's liked by his peers and strangers. He is able to provide mm -hmm. he is getting to the money in so a legal way <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. So you said, I said, but you're no. paying a fairy tale you no, I'm not. no. I'm not. i mean nine times i said i'm not doing it. All that but what i'm trying That's to say is so you're looking at two people i got a match his energy obviously you know me you to the guy you're not so high value but okay but you're asking how do we keep that one woman so it's like you're saying how do we keep that no i'm saying how would you be able to yes keep it. Yes, keep but it. I gotta match assuming his energy. that you've never had it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just how said you, it. You uh, asking me a them. Spice this up. Wow, well, yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Well, moving uh, on. I'm gonna match his energy. Moving on. Okay. All right. So, you gonna answer the question? You nah, said, I just I'm gonna match his energy. Like. You gonna match? So that's how you would sustain <laughs> it. Okay. Cool. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. I guess you gonna match his energy. Fair enough. What about you? Well, in order to keep a guy with. Like you said, the question was a an asset. A higher, uh, a man, that's man. an asset. A higher status how you guy. Keep him. Yeah, a man with a higher value. Yeah. How to keep him? If I'm not doing the things that you like, and you're not doing the things that I like, why would we even be? And like with each other. That's not the question. Why are you the asking me a question? <laughs> yeah, you asked him a question with a question. The question is: oh, wait, just if you the meet questions. the guy, just be asking yeah, look, If you meet a I didn't man, finish. Actually, look, let's just really concise. If you meet a man that's of high status, he's like in the top ten percent <laughs> in height and looks and finances. He's that guy. And you guys are in a relationship. What would you do to retain him? I would try to do everything in his status and his quota that he would want in a woman to keep him. What would Anything that be? that he would be looking forward to, like cleaning his clothes, doing his... <laughs> doing That's a his, slave at that point. I'm no, no, because no certain men, certain men, they want you to make their certain meals that they of want. Course. They want to wake up to certain shit. Certain men, they want to wake up to their clothes clean. They want to wake Laundry, up to... Okay. But that's when you have they the... Wanna <laughs> they they want to wake up to things being the way that... Ever since their mother has been br bringing them mm -hmm. up, they okay, want I got you. them I got you. to so be stacked. Real quick for these two ladies, because you two ladies said, okay. well, a man, no, I get what you're saying. I appreciate yeah. the answer. And I actually agree. You're pretty much saying that you're going to acquiesce your behaviors mm -hmm. to the man what that they want. you want to what he wants. What got they it. need. So you're going to be submissive. Yeah. So now you ladies just said something real quick, and I just <laughs> want to touch on it. So y'all was like, well, cleaning his clothes, like, I, I, I'm not cleaning yeah, yeah, no clothes. Yeah, I was laughing at what she said. Yeah, so Half I ain't going to be like, so, Ash, chill. You saying like, oh, I ain't going to be cleaning no clothes. That's like a slave. No, no, no. I didn't say slave to that part. What you said slave to? I forget what she said. The cleaning the clothes. You're going to yeah, be fucking a nigga with clothes. Yeah, but she's yeah. talking like, you're going to be fucking a nigga with No, listen to be honest. Listen. You're going to be fucking a nigga with dirty clothes. No, it. I love to clean up. I love to do. I can do. I can take care of you. Facts. You feel me? I, yes, I'm talking to somebody, whatever. It's probably not that serious. But that's the thing. If you're doing all that off rip. No, no, no. no. So, like so, so let me help what? you out, baby girl. Listen. Because he's coming so, off rip. He's, com he's coming off okay, correct. Okay, yes. So look, look. It yes, go like this. but. right? You, Your mindset is. It's his job. If you go to an interview, right? This is a quick mm -hmm. analogy. If you go to a job, you want to put your best foot forward. You want to come course. with a good resume. You want to come prepared. You want to come uh, knowing I do all about of that. the company. Right yeah, you go fully in when you want mm -hmm. Indeed looking for a job, and then you go prepare for that interview, mm -hmm. right? And you want to put your best foot forward. So you're going to do, you're going to acquiesce your behaviors to get the job. You're of saying course. that, why would I be doing all of these things and, and uh, doing his clothes? He should, I should have a ring then. You got to do those things to get a ring. You I'm just don't that's do it because it... you don't have the ring. That's like, no. that's like illogical thinking. That's like going to a job and like, oh, well, you know, I kind of, um, this is no. half of my resume, not the full resume. <laughs> I'm no, no I'm, talking as if, resume. I'm talking as if that's what I don't do. I'm saying I do that, but it's like, it's not, it don't, 
it don't get you nowhere like right away. It don't make like, a difference. That's what I'm saying. It don't make a difference if you do it at the beginning or if you do it gradually. Like it How don't do make you a know? difference. But let me because him. I've been through that. Yes, I've, been, I've done so much then, for no, a man. You, no, no, no look, listen. Then that's just you that chose the wrong man. Yeah, that depends the man. But okay, okay, but I'm, no, it don't matter. I'm just telling you, it's not gonna work out. It don't matter if I chose the right man or the wrong man. No, it's not gonna work. If you don't do it, you're the worst ever. No, Ashley, look. No, uh, that's, that's just how it is. What? No, what? if you I'm don't saying. do it, if you don't no, listen, do it, you're okay, the so worst. Ask me the question. In order to keep, if you a, don't I mean, do it, niggas close. If you a high value man, I would do anything to keep. Exactly. No, okay, even Amber exactly. Spitting. All right, so move it on. Exactly. Amber, ask yes. your question. Okay, Amber. that was my problem. What would you? Yeah. What would you do to, um, you know, if you meet a high value man up, no. or a man that's an asset? What would you do to keep him? I'm going to do whatever it takes to keep him. I'm going to keep the house in check. I'm going to keep the kids in check. I'm going to keep the books in check. Mm -hmm. Food's going to be good. You come home, your clothes going to be clean. Your wall's going to be hot. I'm going to be pretty. <laughs> Kids gonna be asleep. <laughs> okay, fair enough. And a I'm saying the same thing. I'm going to do same all thing. of that. Oh, but you're saying that just now. I'm just saying, like, okay, I'm just saying, like, I'm saying from experience. Like, I'm saying from experience, like, you didn't experience it. But you know what? Yes, I was doing it for the wrong person. You guys are completely correct. I was doing it for the wrong person. But that's the problem. The problem I think that happens is that. It's not done up front, and that's why it's always the wrong person. It's not done up front? Yeah. Listen to what he just said. Let it soak and look. Listen. He just said... It's always no, no, listen, up, listen, no, no, I heard what he it. said. He just said, it's not done up front. Yes. Then it's not the right person, because you're not doing the things that you need to do to keep him, so therefore mm -mm. he's not really giving you that energy. You can tell no. him in the beginning if he's not me or not. No, no. men don't want to be feminine. Huh? Oh, my bad. What? Oh. Say that again over there. What you say? <laughs> like, what is he doing to keep me? That's what well, I'm saying. Well, the man he came yeah. correct. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> put it like this, ladies. The wrong person. Put it like this. <laughs> very very old, simple. Man. And over here on this I'm couch, sorry. I don't know what's going on. Ca like calm down. Guys, stop, stop hitting her. Chill. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> what were, what did you say again? What is he doing to keep? What is me? he doing to keep you? Right. Okay, cool. If y'all had sex, you gave up your key. You got to keep him. You got to add value outside of sex to keep him because he mm -hmm. had to do a lot of things correct in order to get sex. Now, I'm not saying that when a man, you know, smashes that he doesn't still have to show you a good time and, mm -hmm. you know, um, you know, be nice to you and give you a good experience and, you know, try to escalate, you know, get it to levels where he's in a situation of protecting and providing you. But right. he that isn't him. The man doesn't ask for a relationship. He asks for sex and you grant it. You ask for the relationship and he grants it. So therefore, you need to put your best foot forward and acquiesce your behaviors to get the relationship. Because you saying, what is he What is he doing for me? He already did everything and you spread your legs to him. But what if so I didn't spread my legs yet? What if we're a month in, feel me? And we just then, he, And then guess what? He got to keep doing what he got to do for you to spread your legs. And then once he gets it, he'll like, The oh, roles reverse it. after that. The reverse the roles <laughs> reverse. <laughs> uh but mm. good thing. Um I guess that you kinda answer the question. Well now, what would you do to keep a high value man? Everything. Everything? Yeah. Do y'all We're not gonna sit here and just Go ahead, Rico. Right. Do y'all understand, like, and I'm not gonna, I'm not making money the basis, right? Because there's a lot of people with money who still ain't got value, mm -hmm. right? Facts. But let's just say Money is probably one of the main requirements to even be considered of such, mm -hmm. right? Because you need to be able to protect and provide, and nine times out of ten, that costs money on both ends of the spectrum, right? So if I say the average millionaire becomes a millionaire or is the age of 56 years old, that means that there's been women that's been rocking with him for probably 20-plus <laughs> years, and now they get to enjoy the fruits of her labor later on in life mm -hmm. see oftentimes i see that women want a man to come with everything up front and then want to be as appreciated as a girl who stuck with him through thick and thin mm -hmm. and it doesn't work that way and sometimes it might be the wrong man right now but it's the right man later but that doesn't mean you stop working right now because mm -hmm. he's already working hopefully he's still working to keep everything afloat he's just figuring right. figuring things out right and ladies what if men use y'all logic y'all saying like well uh, I did all of this for the guys and, uh, you know, he ain't give me no relationship or he cheated or he did all of this. What if we operated like that? Well, I was trying because think about it. You ladies hold the key to sex and we hold the key to relationships. What if we just gave up? 
I go ahead and talk to one of y'all. And then y'all diss me. Oh, she dissed me. Past trauma. So I'm going to use this past trauma. <laughs> this other girl dissed yeah. me. And I'm not going to talk to no other girls. It's nonsense. It's, it doesn't make any sense. It's dumb to do. Mm-hmm. You'll never get anything. You'll never... Uh, get a man or get a relationship that you truly want. Mm-hmm. You have to learn from your past experience. So what men do, right? When we go out there and court girls, it's like, okay, well, this line didn't work. Okay, well, maybe I should never talk to her in a club. Maybe I should have waited after the club. Like, we, because we know that place is important. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe I should have wore this or maybe this or maybe I need to get in the gym more and work on myself. We know that we have to change our behavior, put our best foot forward and to get a better result. But y'all just keep living in delusion land like, well, he hurt me and, well, I'm bringing this drop past trauma to this guy. It's like, no, get rid of that and learn yeah. from your past traumas. I don't like, know. overcome I, it. I'm a little different. I feel like what I want to attract is what I need to put out there. You know what I mean? If I want a high-value man, then I need to get my life and get myself to where I feel like I'm going to attract that high-value man. Mm-hmm. Only like, way? if I bring a table, simple, though. you're supposed you, to bring everything. It ain't everything money. It's like... Just, what? It's yeah, but not even just the morals, simple shit. It doesn't make you a how you know what I mean, a high value woman. You could still clean and do looks. this and do that for a man, but then be doing a bunch of other stuff that he doesn't. It's not always doesn't that. like. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do something, right? <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. Let's, yeah. Rico. let's do something then. This is the first time I'm ever doing this. Go but ahead. I hey, have... chat. We lit right now too. Uh, what you about to do? I see. I see the super chats coming in. I'm gonna get to y'all. That's what I'm like. Oh, All we right. could. Oh, we could. Oh, we could get up and take a shot. Oh no, she no. went to the bathroom. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, no. She's just going to the bathroom. Right. No, no. So I think, and you know, because I was actually just sitting at home and I was just, you know, <laughs> watching everybody on Instagram talk stupid, and I'm like, okay, remember the word ladylike, mm-hmm. right? So I decided to Google what ladylike means, right? And I want to read this. Oh, so you're looking at me. no, no, you're looking not at everybody. Us. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Ladylike means well. First of all, it's an adjective. And it's the appropriate for or, my bad, the appropriate for or typical of a well-bred, decorous woman or girl. And I feel as if the whole Bread. morality of ladylike, if that was a like a personality, is not even here anymore. And I think what under what a man decides to give everything to is the woman who is ladylike. And she's ladylike without him. She's ladylike on her own. She's ladylike by herself. Mm -hmm. She's ladylike with him. And when a man can see that her Mm ladylike-ism is, you know, depending on the type of person she's around, he doesn't even want to take part in it. Because as a man, we have to understand that, hey, if I fall, is my woman going to change on me? And Mm -hmm. if I feel like I can only get this woman because I have such... Yeah. Then I now know she's not a ladylike woman. That's true. That's not your woman. It's not a woman. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's not yeah. a woman. <laughs> like you know, and and I think that's what we have to understand when we're talking about all of this. You know, mm-hmm. how do you go ahead and get that man that you want? Okay, cool. Well, are you even ladylike? Yeah. Ask yourself that question first. You didn't yeah. even ask. Do you carry yourself as a decorous woman? <laughs> <laughs> right, he's speaking. Yeah, you come on, this side. Hold on, nah, you hold on. You get your head to the He's just speaking in general. He's not like saying that. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying. No, but I know exactly what you're saying because I was about to get to that. Yeah. You know, I was gonna get to the deeper level of like keeping a high value man. You know what I mean? Did we get to y'all yet? No. You didn't oh, get yeah, we trying yeah. to get to y'all. Okay. Okay. Um, let's go. okay so I'm done actually, talking. No, no. You, <laughs> you, 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 I'm Rico sorry. Was no, no, no. I'm doing too much. He's just I'm giving not. a little game. It's time for me to listen. Uh, Mia. So uh, you want me to repeat the pretty much is what would you do high, to keep a high, high value man? Yeah, to keep a high value man. The same thing they said, everything, but I'm going to follow your lead. So whatever you need, because I think men are different. So uh, for me, it's communication. Mm-hmm. So what do you need? Like, when you come home, what? how was your day? You feel me? Like, what What do you need from me? Yo, uh, Mia, you talk mad soulful. She be like, so yeah, like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just I'm saying. 33. I'm 33. I'm, I'm really soulful. Okay. You chilling. You vibing right now. <laughs> uh, oh, no, nah, that's facts, though. Okay, so pretty much you saying the same thing. You're going to acquiesce your behaviors to the man to, to give him what he needs. Specifically. If he's a high-value man. I um, got you. Now, Diana, what about you? Um, is being submissive, you know what I mean? Um, Mm -hmm. But also, you have to have morals and respect. It's like you said, the ladylike um, traits. 
and all that. It's not only, oh, <coughs> just being submissive. It's also loyalty. The loyalty that a woman has yeah. for that man. You know what I mean? I don't want love. I want your loyalty. Like, when things is all said and done and get serial, you're going to give me loyalty? You're not going to go and switch up on me like you said. If you go, if you down and out, just know... Um, I'm gonna help. I'm gonna hold you down. Like I'm not gonna leave you because you're down and out. You know what I mean? If you a high value man, I'm not gonna leave you because you're down and out. I'm not gonna leave you regardless. You're my man. I'm supposed to be right there with you. You know what I mean? Right. I got a question yeah. for you. Do you think men and women show loyalty the same? No. Okay. No. So how do you think a man shows loyalty? Um, like I said, providing. Okay. And and all that. No. You made a comment before. No. You said, "Well, high value dudes <laughs> still a cheat." <laughs> they it's still do cheat. Okay, so so if you know that, but that's do but cheat. that's but but that's it doesn't make you like not high value. It takes a little points off, but you know what I mean. It just doesn't make you like not high value because you're still providing, you're still okay. protecting. You know what I mean. So a question for you, Every Diana. Yeah. Yeah. We don't got to go around the panel. I think you your answer will probably be conducive of maybe almost the majority for this question. Um, if you met a high value man, and I'm not saying this is morally right or a man should act like this, mm -hmm. right? But if you met a high value man and from the beginning, he let you know, hey, I'm going to have other girls from now and then. Would you still be committed? Like, mate, it's open on his end, but it's closed on yours. <laughs> Would you question. accept that relationship? Meaning that I gotta go around. he's okay. I'll go around it. So he's, <laughs> he's right. protecting and providing and giving you everything. Mm -hmm. You don't got to work. Life is good. And he's doing it to a high degree where it, it took out your exit strategy. You don't got no exit strategy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, would you? And maybe it's just he goes on a trip. Maybe it's three times a year. Maybe if you want to get his, you know what I mean, throw his thing in something else. It's just like, I, but you agree to this up front. <laughs> no, would you agree to this or would you be like, this ain't for me? Um, To be honest, it wouldn't be for me. Okay, so now. Right. So now you just now think about this. You just got a high value man. Now, I'm not condoning this or even promoting this. I just want to see where the mindset is. Right. Mm -hmm. You just got a high value man that is literally like a top 10 percent, meaning that a whole lot of other guys don't even meet his standard. Mm -hmm. His only thing and he's being truthful. Really, ain't no niggas really truthful. Mad niggas lie. I think 0.1% niggas actually tell the truth to their partner, right? So then you got someone that he's high value and he's telling the truth to you. What? But, the, but his truth is that, hey, I'm going to slang this thing around <laughs> right. every now and then. Question. So, so hold up, ladies. So, please be quiet. As this is to Diana. I'm going to go around to y'all. So I'm saying that you're saying that you would still, that's not for you? Because you could get with another guy. Was drive, you know, that's not as high value, but he would still cheat. So why would you give up the, you know, the prize for, why would you? It's, it's in and out, though, because there is men that don't actually cheat. Like, why do I got to, like, Have Have on. you ever been in a, time out, Diana, <laughs> that, have, you, that have you ever <laughs> okay, been so in be. a relationship <laughs> and a man not cheat on you? Boop. <laughs> No, I mean, you, yeah, you, uh, no. Wait, yeah. Exactly, yeah. so they all cheated. So how are you saying that there's guys out there that don't yeah, cheat when you, you know haven't what? even got like, it? <laughs> like, you yeah. haven't even experienced the nigga that don't cheat. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. It's just, <laughs> Where's the it's logic? Like I, hit, I don't know, it's like a hit and miss because it's like, why I do I got to sit here and also deal, like, deal with that too? Like, yeah, why do I got to sit here when you're slinging your shit around? And, I get and, like, it, I get it. You know once what I mean? And you want to come and stick your shit in me. Like, there's plenty of STDs and all that. I got you, I got you. I want to just make it clear. I want to make it clear real quick. I'm not condoning the man cheating. I'm not promoting it. I'm just giving, laying it all out there, right? You never met a man that was faithful to you. Wait, but wait, then, wait, but then, this question. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But no. then you'll if meet a man somebody, that can give you the world. I, I, and he's honest. I can't see. I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Damn, I have okay, to be honest. Okay, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, fuck though. it. If, it, if he's <laughs> providing, he's giving me everything I want. He, yeah. whatever I want. Just, just turn it back please. to it. That's just, the answer. Let, to hey, uh, All right, fellas, don't let me find out. Look, That's why I just bored. Don't uh, bring Jack, to the house. He Jack, told you. Get <laughs> your money up, and uh, you can maybe exercise you. some options. At first. 
right. But I'm not promoting it. Don't do All right. I get it. I get it. You know what? I'm going to be honest. I can't see I'm blind. That's it. Like, if you provide it, you giving me everything I want. I don't know what to say. You switched your answer mad quick. Right. Right. No, because he broke it down to me. He broke it down. And that's when you understand more. nothing is wrong with that, though. No. Actually, I'll give you some love on that. To be honest with you, because let me tell you something. He broke it down, and he's actually right, because these broke-ass, bum-ass niggas be cheating, and y'all still we in the house crying for bum ass broke niggas that we don't provide for us. I'd rather the cry in the bench. I'd rather cry in the bench. I'd rather cry in the bench. No, like Sleepy Hollow said, I'd rather cry. Were well, you rather cry in a, in a Royce? That's what I'm saying. Nigga, I'd rather cry not at all. I'd rather cry not at all. You get what you're going to cry regardless. These niggas cheat. It's like Cooley. You just say, Cooley, you cheat. Cooley, you cheat. A lot of men cheat. It's true, though. It's true. Like, um, they cheat. So, yeah. I'm cool with it. Okay, so the ones that are not cheating is the ones that can't. Have you ever cheated, Rico? Got yeah. it. Many times. Got it. So, wow. moving right along. Uh, Mia, what about you? If you met, because y'all want me to go around with this. So, yeah. if you met a high value man, <laughs> be honest. <laughs> Just be honest. I'm proud of it. And he said that, hey, I'm going to go out there and maybe slaying this thing around every now and again. Um, Let me tell you something. Would you accept it, yes or no? She can't Honesty wait. is the best policy, baby. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, and I feel like a lot of women shy from this, and that's why I wanted this question, because I feel like the same way I feel like all men cheat. I'd rather you be honest with me and off rip too. Mm -hmm. Like, yo, I go yeah. on vacations, I do my, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna respect you enough to do X, Y, and Z. Like, there has to be a conversation. But for me personally, and I have my own moral clock, so I ain't about to yeah. be out here slinging nothing. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But as far as you, as long as you're honest with me and kind of sort of what she said, like, just respect the queen. You feel me? Don't have mm -hmm. nobody coming over thinking that she got one up on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You right. best select, like, that, Keep that's the side holes in like, line, you say. I'm the, fat. I'm the <laughs> queen. You feel me? Tell them, get in line. Should he take the back seat? I get the front seat. Period. Okay. <laughs> take the Uber. Yeah, like, you need to hear, right? Bitch. See, like, there you go. Put it in the Uber. the same thing. Nah, nah, I ain't not no Uber, bitch. You better hop on a bicycle, bitch. It's the same exact thing. Okay, same exact thing. All right, we gonna move it right along. Asasia, what about you? What was the question? So the question is, if a high value, if you meet a high value man mm -hmm. and he's honest with you, um, and he's like, hey, baby, I'm gonna be out there slanging his wang every now and again, maybe three to four times a year, um, like not a lot, but three to four uh -huh. times a year, oh. would you accept that? Oh, are you saying he high value? He high value, and he's honest. Uh, you low value to me if Yo, you're doing you're that shit. You're fried, bro. <laughs> Huh? Oh, oh, huh? <laughs> okay, okay. So you said that the um, man is low value morally because he's doing that. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, fair enough. Morals? So let me let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. So you said a man is low value if he's slanging that thing when meanwhile he's if he hot. disrespecting me and cheating and shit. That's oh, no, not no, no, no. That's not the thing. So I'm saying that in the beginning of the relationship, he's coming to you like, hey. I want to have it open on my end, closing oh, on yours. Oh, in the beginning, yours. yeah. The, Would obviously, you accept those terms? Um, yeah, because I'm going to do me as well. No, no, no. It's closed on your end. You do your <laughs> end and you're a whore. Why would you want it got to the be money. open on your end? What the hell? You want to be a whore? <laughs> no. So why would you want it to be open on yours? A man is he's not a whore if he's doing something. But what if she's fucking one other nigga and just that that's, that's not what a whore? I'm saying. No, yeah. What if she was that's not what you're saying? Give me your what what you sexual I want my person? man all to myself. I don't want to have to have options. So if you out there and you saying you're you gonna be out here fucking and sucking this problem now. Well I suck and I hope he's not sucking. But listen a battle. So I'm just saying I'm not gonna be okay with that. Let's make this clear concise. If we can take Shorty home with us. Well, <laughs> if he gonna take Shorty home with us, okay. So let's make this clear and concise, right? So you said that I are you fucking know. girls. You, you said this. I mean, if you wanted me to, if we locked in like that, I'll, I'll, you know. Nah, she never. I'll dive in the water. I've never, I've never fucked Di a girl before. Uh, Diana, you good? <laughs> really? Yeah, no, I never fucked a. girl. What well, I look like? I don't know. I'm young. Yeah, she's only twenty-one. So look, 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 ladies, oh, ladies. Yeah, she's yeah. okay. Okay. Ladies, so pay attention because I want this to be clean and concise, and I'm gonna get to you because you had a question, right? You said a, you had a statement. So you're pretty much saying that um, you won't accept that because you want it to be open on your end too. I'm saying that if it is open on your end, 
you are a 304. You're a whore because a, a permit That's crazy, but you can't be a whore, a whore if you out there fucking no, everybody. A man, he, no, it's not the same. Think about it. A you're man a has maker. to have value to have the ability to smash drones. No, a whore you, is a whore. You lose value when you smash drones. You are born with your value. No, a whore So is since a whore. you are born with your value, your main job is to preserve your value for the right man. Exactly. You and the right man. my right man is not out there fucking other bitches. Okay, cool. So you just saying that you're not going to accept it. No. Got it. And the only way you would accept it is if it's open on your end, too. Mm, yes and no. Yes and no. <laughs> so one moment you're saying you want to be a 304, next moment you're saying you don't really know. And what, what was your statement about I'm not that? I'm saying what I'm you had? be a whore. Oh, my God. You like, said something. Do you think it's a whore if, let's just say, right. all right, my nigga doing what he doing, and I meet somebody else, and I'm just, we can't. Mm -hmm. and I'm, with the, whoop. Mm -hmm. I'm a whore. <laughs> right, that's listen, nice. listen. How aren't you? I'm trying to explain to you, I, no. ladies, you have a vagina, another man goes inside you. You have to submit to another man. That other man dominates you. I'm he's not smacking be you. He's, with flipping somebody you. He's, if, no. he's choking you up. He's doing things mm -hmm. that your man should only be doing to you. Why would you even want another man to do that to you? The women that want that don't really respect and admire their man. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about a type of man that you truly, genuinely love, mm -hmm. respect, and admire. He's a man of value. You okay. get it? So if he's a man of value, I ain't gonna do would you want to really be open yeah, up your legs like to I'm another guy? No. What if it's to another female? Is that different? Like, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Take short and grow with us. No. no. That's, I mean, it, it depends on a man. For myself, that's just weird. Nah. Okay, to finish off with me, no. I don't yeah, want my I, man I would, out fucking nobody. you did it without me. Huh? Really? I'm sorry. Okay. All right, cool. Where was we at with the question? I'm Let's just get the question. I think that was it. Let's just get You asked me. What was it? Oh, if he was a high value, would I be okay with him cheating? Oh yeah, we cheating? gotta get to these people. Oh, if he's a high value man, yeah, would you accept him? <laughs> so like with the logic accept of him. even broke dudes cheat too. Uh, yeah, as long as he can accept my craziness, because I'm still gonna get crazy when I find out whether you know what I mean. He told you in the beginning though that he was doing it. I don't give a fuck. I'm still gonna get crazy when I find out. Okay. okay. I'm still gonna oh. get a little upset. Not even like crazy, crazy. I'm not talking about like crazy, crazy, but I'm gonna get a little petty. <laughs> Okay, got you. Man. All right, fair enough. What about up. you, Ashley? No. Okay, no, nah, I already know you. <laughs> no, please don't talk to me. I don't care. Do what you do, bro. Yeah, yeah. I don't care. You don't I'm, care. You with it? I ain't with nothing. I'm just not going to be involved in it. I like, just don't expect... Loyalty? I mean, you? wait, you said it's a high-value man. It's a high-value like, man. I do man. pay my bills. We're talking about like a million buddy. here, right? No, no, no ladies, ladies, listen. Oh, she's going to do something else. Yeah, listen. What? what I'm saying is this. This is a man that you genuinely love, respect, and admire, right? And his rules of the relationship he would only be in a on an open relationship on his end but he would still protect provide for you and love you and cherish you that's a thing but on your end is closed you can't be even messing with no other dudes that's mm -hmm. a thing so my question is would you accept a type of relationship like that yes or no you just said right yeah a man you love and all this down the third. Uh -huh. I don't think I'm gonna like fall in love with someone who does that. Thank you. I feel like yeah, like my mindset. If you want me to be completely honest, he's, he's high value, so I know he's gonna mm -hmm. come with the funds. But he still want he want what he wants. So personally, yeah, I might be like, I right, whatever, you know, mm -hmm. I bet. But to fall in love, I'm sorry, no, because mm -hmm. it's not aligning with what I want. All right, so for the for mm -hmm. the for the woman that's saying no, none of y'all. So think about this. We all know Speak that women shit. desires. Women desire uh, a, a masculine man that can protect and provide for them. Men, we desire purity. All right, well, let's so, listen, me listen, 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 hold on, listen. That bitch. I'm not getting no. talking about that. Men, we desire purity, submissiveness, and femininity. That's what we desire, right? Mm -hmm. So what? what's the, the most ultimate form of what we desire would be a virgin. The most ultimate mm -hmm. form of what you desire would be a dude that's getting to the money. bag, a, man a dude money. that's tall, attractive, masculine, right? So you already getting the top, the the, the pinnacle guy. But y'all not even virgins talking about, well, yeah, I'm not going to do it on my end. Oh, y'all not freaking is. virgins. Y'all We getting some nick box that a nigga already had. So you might as well accept the nigga that's going to take care of you, that's high value, and may slang his dick somewhere else. It don't make any sense. This Your whole world is, is horrible. Anyway. Well, well, he better get, we can't hand me down dick. You better give it to me better. He better hand me down dick. Nah, I'm you just saying that y'all don't want nothing no, fair. You saying a whole bunch of things? Like whoever he with, she gotta be. Yeah, I know. Y'all want everything. You saying a whole bunch of things? This comes. This comes in the part of like men and women can't do the same. Yeah, yeah. No, my 
Let me ask you a question. I mean, we all obviously going to feel how we feel because none of us really probably had that, but it is what it is. Let me ask you a question. What do you think men go out and try to conquer the world for? Themselves. No, for their family, <laughs> so for their woman, <laughs> for their woman, for their bank account, for, for their mamas. For the, yo, listen, no, attraction, ladies, them. attraction isn't symmetrical. How you view the world, we don't view the world the same way. <laughs> what you want in us, we don't want those same characteristic traits back in you. The, what we go out there and conquer things for the world, the reason why we do it is because to have a family and build a legacy. Right. Mm-hmm. But like, when y'all make a little bit money, y'all claim independency and all of this other type of stuff. So it's like, yeah, I want everything. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You just settle. The whole world and everything in it, baby. I mean, we want to know what you for nothing. You got to be a value. Listen, we dumb? settle for chicks that ain't virgins, chicks that got kids, chicks that got <laughs> all of this and this. Yo. We settling all the time. If you gave I'm your hungry. phone to another nigga, we settling. But mi- meanwhile, y'all don't want to settle for a high value nigga that's just like, okay, well, my, one of my I'm main things I want to open bitches. on my is. How about you seven, I'm fucking seven bitches. One. I'm coming to home to you, four. baby, though. <laughs> yeah, he said, I said three to four. He said that. <laughs> <laughs> but let's get to the super chats. It's lit right now. Uh, who we got in here? We got Tony Barnett again, sends in $5. He says, uh, Tony, so if roll. you don't he have is. that Tony, Tony. Nah. Hey, let me hey, just hey. read it. Um, Tony Barnett says, he sends in $5. He says, so if you don't have that foundation of a successful family and being masculine ladies, how do you expect to have a successful nuclear family? How do you Facts. expect Ooh. to have a successful <laughs> nuclear family? Well, Tony is saying that he said that he's been married for 29 years, I believe. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, With his family. Tony. So, oh, yeah. Tony. You owe Tony an apology. Tony, 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 uh, I, I see what what's the difference? Yeah. Big Lucci again sends in another five dollars. Appreciate your support, man. He says it's crazy they want a rich guy but complain uh, about what they got to do to keep them. Always want to call motherly duty slavery. Holy <laughs> oh, complain that we all said we would do Coolie it. A gym dropper. Call me a slave then. I don't care because I. That's not how I was saying it. Like I will tend to my man. I'll do all that for him. I didn't say it like that. Okay. Because he was coming at me. But it's what? Like that uh, there's no move butt. a little bit, scooch down, Amber, so she can scooch her butt on the couch a little bit more. Nah, I've been hanging this whole time. <laughs> 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 she got one cheek on 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 one foot in, one foot out. Like swimming. Like swimming. You good? You good? All right, all right. I was trying not to sit on top of her. Let me finish the super chat real quick, ladies. And then we got to wrap it up. Oh Ladies, no. uh, we got. Let me finish the super chats, then we gotta wrap it up too. Yeah, um, I, gotta, I gotta do a question. And then, yeah, we gotta get into a Rico question. Um, <laughs> Tony <laughs> Barnett again sends in five dollars. He says, "Ladies, would you rather have a high profile job that pays nothing or clean sewers for a hundred k a year?" How can a high profile job make no money? Right. Wait, what? Can you read that again? Okay, he says, "Ladies, would you rather have a high profile job that pays nothing or?" clean sewers for 100k a year understand that all there is to each job is what has been stated okay so that's all has been stated so would you want a high profile job that pays nothing or clean sewers for 100k a year that's a great question let's let's go around with uh i'm going to that sewer Oh, Let's I'm sorry, start. Where we start? We started with Diana. Let's start with Yaya. Yaya, you started what you with want? me last one. No, no, we ended with you. We ended with you. I just swear to God, you started. Come on, Yaya, sit back. Nah, for me we didn't end. <laughs> yes, y'all did. Come on, oh, Yaya, you about to be in them sewers? So which which uh. one? You gonna be in the sewers or you gonna take a high profile job that pay nothing? Jesus Christ! Come back to me on this one. Let me let me, let me one. think about it. No, hell no. I'm sorry. I can't. <laughs> yeah. Dang, so she don't really care about money like that. That's what she's saying. I do, but All if right, I got to right take care of Ashley, you clean the sewers for 100 k a year or a high-profile job? Yeah, them sewers. <laughs> My question is, what is the benefits on both? Yo, look. What? Does she get this? <laughs> like, do I get do? Like, Ashley, does she get some health insurance? Nah, I'm you the next question. Let's be, be playing with me. 
Amber, uh, you can answer the question. I can't. Like, okay, to be honest, I can't be in them sewers. I can't be coming home smiling. That's something we stick into the skin. Like, like, you smell okay. like shit ice. every day. I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So you you're not gonna be in the sewers for 100k. So you're just gonna take the high profile job in it. Fair enough. Unfortunately, what about you? My man making now plus I'm in the sewer. I'm in the sewer. I'm a hard worker. I've always been a hard worker. So yeah, girl, white sewer. But pick up that shit. What's the All the little side comments. Speak by myself. That. Yo, ladies, once again, quick rules. Side comments. Mm -hmm. When I give it to someone, like, let them get a whole sentence out before Thank you me. cut in. Like, let them get some time to shine. Um, okay, so you said sewers. Yes. Fair enough. Move it right along, you. <sighs> Jane, let me think about it. All I think is sewers and Honestly, shit. Honestly, <laughs> I would do the high profile just for the simple fact that I will make money off just... At the certain standard that, I'm at. The status you, you feel mean. Me? Okay, so, so you'll try to make some back end money. There you saying. go, because I'm high profile. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. All right, and uh, wah, wah. what about you? Get yeah. the fuck out of here, Rico. <laughs> so, am I single? So, I'm just going to be broke all year? Well, you well, know what I'm saying? do we have a that, the, it, 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 No relationship is involved. He's just talking about careers. Well, then now. I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to start cleaning sewers and shit because okay. I got to make a living. I can't be Fair enough. broke. What about you, Diana? Now, you know what, though? It, like, it's like high profile. <laughs> Right, bring me connection. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. So, do you understand? You like the back bread. end of that high profile, I I'm looking for connections. Exactly. 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 Now, exactly. Now, now, if there's no connections to that, I'm cleaning sores. Because yeah. I gotta make a living. Uh -huh. If there's con no connections to that, but high profile, there's more likely connections. To it. But yeah, your money from making a from cleaning the sewer, yeah, yeah. you gonna get connections <laughs> off your money. Y'all coming for me? Smelling like shit. No. Let's get to the next question. We got more commander. <laughs> Ladies, keep it down while I'm reading Super Chat. We got Lord Commander sends him $5. He says, uh, 100K earners are only 10% of men, but you uh, but you ever notice that every woman, when asked, has dated one? Top 10% top 10 passed around. Okay. okay. So he's pretty much saying that 100K earners are only 10% of men. And then he's saying, have you ever noticed that every woman, when asked, has dated one? Uh, top ten percent passed around, so he's pretty much saying like, you haven't. Yeah, you haven't. The dude I'm talking to right now is making. That. What are you talking about? I'm just not going to obviously talk about it because I don't feel like it. But yeah, yeah, we already said you said he is sent. All right, um, <laughs> yo, Aaron Johnson. I, I mean, you said you explained it. All right, next question. <laughs> next uh, question. Aaron right. Johnson sends in ten dollars. He says four. No kids, woman. So who don't got no kids? She's the only one, Miss Ashley. Dang, why you send this question for? <laughs> <laughs> you play too much. No. Nah, he wanna, he make, he wanna make a comedy show. I got enough. You don't show, don't do that. Right, Ashley, got enough. Do you don't do that. This question is for you. <laughs> okay. Listen. Stop. And Stop. Uh, sit back for me so they can see her in the camera too. Yo, so listen. To sit back. <laughs> Aaron Johnson sends in ten dollars. He says, "Do you not think there's a reason?" Why no man has married slash impregnated you? Everyone can see the what? masculine in you. Why? What yeah. caused this? Question. It's not body paint when a man releases. So pretty much he's saying you ain't got no kids because you ain't worthy. Well, she doesn't well, think. Slang in it. I mean, let me tell you something. I just turned 24. I'm not gonna say how many abortions I had. Right. And respectfully. God damn. <laughs> Let me tell you something though. Let her finish. Let me tell you something though. It's it's been it's been a lot of men that has been thoughtfully trying to impregnate me just because. No, I'm so serious. Thoughtfully. Thoughtfully trying to impregnate me. No, thoughtfully trying to impregnate me because they know the status, they know the quota, they know what the fuck going on. Men don't care about status. They really do though. But they really do. They really do though. You wanna say that, but I could sit here and show you a, a bunch of a handful that really no, do. even broke dudes don't. They lie to you just to get poon. Okay, well... I mean, if, if, if it's, it's a lie... Cool I used to be broke. What are you talking about? I wasn't always this guy. Used to be broke. Yeah, but you was young. Broke guys, it that's, doesn't. That's a whole it's, it's thing. Still, nah, it isn't. That's all they have. Broke that's all broke niggas have. Lies that they tell. <laughs> yeah, that's all age. broke niggas have. Lies that they could tell. That's all that they have. Stories. So? And I'll tell you okay. that. 
All right, well. And you got, never mind. Rico, so, uh, Rico, <laughs> let's get to your question. This is segue is perfect into my, my question. Perfect. Because my question was, how many plan Bs did each of you take? Oh, I did Two. I never took a plan B. I never took no. a plan B. Two. Oh, I'm not okay. gonna lie. Ashley, too. Why are you lying? Come on. Why the fuck you lying? <laughs> <laughs> Let's make it clear. Let's make it clear. Let me put it out there. So the audience can hear. Lying. The audience can't hear y'all. So let's start over here. How many plan Bs have you taken? I've only ever taken one plan B, and I swear to God. <laughs> like, like her prayers. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. <laughs> let her, let her finish. Let only her finish. one. Maybe. Only one. And then I didn't like the Shit. after effects, so I never did it again okay what about you Mia what's wrong with a plan B right <laughs> okay. how many do you take though we ain't saying no it's wrong. emergency no. for more or less than five yeah, but I yeah. took more than five I mean I went let me tell you something when I was not on birth control <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean I was only laying down with my baby daddy and I ain't want no more kids and Fuck I wasn't him. on birth control I made sure it wasn't no child coming after that I mean that's the truth I was I should have invested in stock in plan B <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'd rather plan B than abortion you right, 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 right. Right. before they develop. Diana, what about you? How many plans? <laughs> she said, nigga, I took one this morning. Yeah, <laughs> <I'm crying. laughs> but if I needed to, I would As far as how many I took, I, I keep it no full gaze. She said I them things like Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> I keep it no full gaze. Over 10? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Sister, stop. <laughs> Sister. Then you got a cemetery in there. Oh, my God. Uh, Way more than 10. Way more than 10, okay. Yeah, because I don't want no more kids. Like, right as of right now. Yeah. More than 20? Yeah, oh more, my than God. more than 20 plans. I respect that. I respect that. I respect that. You're not judging me, that's the case. We're not judging you, by the way. We're not judging you. We really not judging you. No, no, yeah, yeah more question. than 20 for a fact. Yeah, okay. I just had this conversation with my sister. My sister's like, yo, you need to stop taking them. She's like, fucking. Yeah. I like her. I like her. sister. I like your sister. I like her. Let's see how many we could go. Is it over 40? Stop asking questions. Next question. Next question. No, What's the know. next question? Is it over 40? Yes if or no? Necessary. If necessary. <laughs> you can be <laughs> You really think you're past 40? Answer. Is it over 40? You're not past 40. Yeah, come on. You know okay, you're not. You know you're not past 40. I mean, you just take it right after just in case, right? No, no, no. I don't you take it no. right after just in case. Say I take no. it when it's very when necessary. It's, uh, and so you yes, don't want to You guys say it's over 40. It's over 40. Yeah, it's over 40. So before you take your plan B, you like, yo, I'm about to take a plan B. We might as well milk it another day or two. Facts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Call my baby father. He gonna let you know. Facts, okay. we got about three days, baby dad. You heard? <laughs> 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 you heard? That's that's shoot up the cloud. Yo. That's the thing. So I'm, I'm gonna take it when it's necessary, <laughs> which is... Often. <laughs> She's and, not and I ain't really into like I don't, I'm, I'm gonna keep it on it like I don't like birth control I I, I no. tried three mm. types it fucked it me work. up yeah. I just you know I can't yeah. like you know what I mean I try to tell them please try to <laughs> do something <laughs> different yeah. you know put something else put something else can I ask a question though yeah, let's, let's go let around. me just ask one question hold on hold on just, 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 just save the same we're gonna go around just save it um yeah yeah how many plan B's you take I never took a plan B you never took one I'm not really fertile, so I don't have to ever worry about popping up pregnant. <laughs> nah, for real. Oh, my God. Why you always lying? Mm, pop a plan B. Nah, I'm not lying. Nah, I'm thinking you never took one. Not cool. for real. Ashley. I say tone. Cap, you got more voices than plan Bs? <laughs> no. How you got more voices than plan Bs? No, because <laughs> okay. I, like... I initially thought, like, you know, having abortion is like having a plan B because you're having the plan B to abort Wait, the child so that's coming. Am I wrong? 
not the Am I wrong? It's not. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't get up to the stature I'm sorry. I didn't get up to the stature. Ashley, we want to know. Ashley, we want to know. Just keep it. No food. And here's your second time here. You be keeping it. No food. I mean, don't be trying to get it. Stop playing with me. Let's keep it. I ain't playing with you. I know you be keeping no food. You keep it 100. That's fine. You be keeping 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 that's, with the that's plan B or with the actual, like, you know? Like, because y'all confusing okay. me now. How many plan Bs have you had and how many abortions? Yeah. I had two plan Bs and two abortions. I've had okay. three abortions okay. and one plan B. Three? Three abortions? Yeah. Okay. Who who Stop had more than three abortions? I'm going to be fucking kids. I never had an abortion. No, no, how many no abortions had you one. had, Yaya? One. One? Okay. okay. Did everyone have an abortion on this panel? No. no. I have... Damn. One. Okay, girl, uh, you yo, ease, 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 right? Hold on, uh, Diana. Uh, so, yeah, what? Yeah, have you had an abortion? Yeah. <laughs> that's very sensitive to talk about, Stop though, I believe. She's over there like, yeah. That's sensitive Diana, to talk about. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 It is. I don't believe that's like a topic that should be spoken about. We know what we're talking about it. We know. FTK. But it's not something you want to do. You know, my brother say that shit all the time. Fuck them kids. You gotta make that choice. Like, it's... He said something that you... How many... Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let's keep it one mic at a time because we need these conversations Jesus to go fast because the audience can't hear anything. They like, but it was one dude. It wasn't with mad niggas. I was so young, you behind so. the computer, like, okay, don't okay, do okay, got you, got you, Ibrana, I, I got you. Ibrana. So, yeah, we gonna make it concise. So, uh, Ibrana, mm -hmm. you said that you had three abortions, mm -hmm. okay, and you said you had one, one. You said you had one. Mm -hmm. You said you had two. Who has two? You had one. One. Y'all had none. I've never had one. Never had none, never had none. She's only 20. Okay, one. cool. <laughs> right. See, I've never had a portion. I've never took a plan B before y'all talk about mine. No I got B. my tubes out when I was 19. So okay. that's oh, like. So you can't have kids. Yeah, I told him. You said you cheated. After, after my second kid, <laughs> I'm like, take a choice. For real. Okay. I mean, I can still have kids, but I'd have to go through IVF. It would have to be like a plan, pay money type shit. So that was the best birth control. Okay, oh, gotcha. Like, I like, right yeah, 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 yeah. Not because I had that birth control on my arm, I got pregnant with my second son. Work. No, let me yeah. We know. Okay, okay. <laughs> now, now, uh, Asaja, how many Plan Bs have you taken? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dang, shorty don't know. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Oh, uh, no, no. More than 20? No, hell no. Hell Less, no. Uh, more than 10. Know. There's nothing wrong with taking more no, than 20. No, I don't though. think more like than five. Like five? Yo, see? We get it. We know. They're doing too much. They're doing too much. No, it's more. No, it's more. It's for the kids. Wow. It's for the kids. Wow. Not fuck the kids. Fuck them kids. It's for the kids. It's for the kids. It's for the kids. That means you're not selfish. You're not. You don't want to bring another kid to the world. That's why I did my shit. To love. I got divorced and I was like, nope, no more kids for me right now. Exactly. You're not selfish. Okay. I ain't selfish either. Pop them Plan Bs, girl. Okay. But they don't fuck you up though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and one way. And one way. No side effects. Remember you had some? No side effects. You got a question. I am for those. Damn, months. I think I fucked. Oh, it was about yeah, when she was saying more than twenty Plan Bs. Yeah, because we was on her. <laughs> yo, y'all was on my. Yo, that's crazy. Damn, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, so so I just wanna, I want the chat to see this right, mm. um, because I always speak about promiscuity in men and promiscuity promiscuity in women. Uh, the fact that um, you know, laws was passed that gave women rights to, um contraceptives which is you know plan b's mm -hmm. and um uh birth control and uh the ability to abort the kid what it did was incentivize women to be more promiscuous that's what it did like those are the facts so if we want a better society truthfully i believe we get rid of those because you're literally it takes away the incentive so then the woman then has to take more accountability. But the thing is that in society, we are stripping the accountability away from women and saying, hey, well, if you just have a one night stand, you got a plan B. Or, hey, you could be on birth control if you want to be promiscuous. Or, hey, you know what? Uh, FTK. F yeah, you know, but F sometimes that's, that, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sometimes that's, that's not in our hands. That's like, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, never, it's, 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 it's that, never you know what I'm saying? What are you talking about? So yeah, yeah. sometimes we'd be like, hold on. And this man still does, you know what I mean? Don't listen. So Yeah, so that's, that's once again, mm-hmm. not taking accountability when it comes to yeah. you uh, choose the man. Well, well, the thing is that it, men should strap up. Men have, exactly. men do have a part of accountability in it as well. We're not stripping all the accountability away, but I'm going to say women <laughs> have 99% of the accountability mm-hmm. because you choose the man. You choose the man that you're gonna sleep with. Then, even through the process, you could watch him put the condom on him and make sure he's strapping up, mm-hmm. right? And then, say if the <clears throat> condom breaks. Let's just say that happens. You took all the precautions you ne- needed to, cool. right? Okay. So you put on a condom that breaks. You still have the ability to then, uh, you know, Fix use it. those contraceptives. Mm-hmm. So I'm just saying that my the point that I'm making is that all of you ladies been taking advantage of the contraceptives and literally uh, abusing it, which is then allowing you to be continuously to be more promiscuous. So all I'm saying is that the world will be a better place if, uh, you know, the liberals is just crazy right now. We need some strong Republicans to come back in office and yeah. take them rights away because men grant men make yeah. America yeah. great. Yeah. So my no. Wait, my no. question no. is, my question is, so when I was when I was when I was seventeen. When I was 17 and 18 and had the choice to take a plan B, I shouldn't have taken it. 17 what? and 18? No, no, no. When I was 18 and you I had have not even been having sex with a man that wouldn't provide you a future, or a man that you should that you don't want. Th- this is what I'm saying. I, all I'm I saying is that I get exactly what you're you saying. Take, yeah, this is what I'm saying. Y'all all have a hard problem <laughs> finding men. That the truth of it, that's the facts of so it. So when so when you so at, listen, listen, let's just keep it real. We're gonna keep it no fugazi. All of you women, and not just you, all the girls that be coming on the podcast are single. We ain't. You sure. all have a problem. <laughs> That's you all have a problem with choosing men. Yes, that's the facts. And then the men that you choose, you have a problem with retaining the men too because you made probably some bad choices in choosing them. So all I'm saying is, if we took away the contraceptives, there wasn't no Plan B, there wasn't any birth control, you couldn't have abortion. We would have better. You would have more. Better. You would have more stake in the man that you choose. So yeah. then you would have more discernment. <laughs> discernment is the ability to make good judgment. You would be using discernment to make good judgment in the men that you choose. But the facts is that. You utilize all of these contraceptives. Oh, well, I got a plan B. I got a plan C. I got a plan Z. You got too many freaking plans, so you're choosing the wrong niggas. You feel what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. But it's not always about mad men either, because this could all be just with one person. You know what I mean? Mm, See, I feel like it's situational. Listen, and even if it's all with one person, the fact that you taking it, that means that he not really that right person. Because you wouldn't be taking it if Mm. he was that right person. Keeping it no fugazi. That's keeping it no fugazi. Like, you wouldn't be... If a nigga that you... This is what I'm saying. A nigga that you truly... (laughs) Yeah, bitch. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. A nigga that you truly love, respect, and admire... You're going to want to have his baby. And you look up to him... Yeah, of course. You're not... Ladies, listen. A woman, that, a man that you truly love, respect, and admire, you're, a plan B isn't even an option. If he knocks you up and he's doing his job, you're mm-hmm. going to be like, I, I, I want his have baby. His baby. On. There is yes. women that literally right. go out there. Why do you think Drake was putting hot sauce in condoms? Period. Because they want to have his baby because he's a high value man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What does you that what do? Saying? The hot sauce. It kills it. It kills it. it kills no yeah. way. Yeah. You want to know what's crazy? What? I got a you question. You did that. No, I got a, I got a, real, I got, I got a question for y'all. And this is my last question, right? I just thought about this right now. Ladies, be honest. Be honest. Be honest, ladies. Be honest. How many of y'all have came to a potential sexual situation with a man with your own condom? Two times. Mm-hmm. Like you brought your own condom type you, shit. You not yeah. and not a male one. Or oh, female condom. How many of y'all have brought a female condom to the bedroom? A few times. Right. Just one. I swear to God, just one, just to see what it was like. <laughs> just one. Like twice. Well, like, okay. Not really. I feel like this is no, a lot. I have them there. Like, I had them there. Like, had them saying, there so them it saying it. that they are bringing it is a lot? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And nah. The, the, no, I want because I got it from the doctor. I want to see what it's like, but it's not no, like something like constantly. I, I never did it again. <laughs> no, I was like, I don't know. You now, now, I said, yeah. Yeah. So now, yeah. here's another question, right? 
<laughs> How many of you ladies know where to buy a female condom? I got it from the doctor. I, 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 I want my You can buy one. Romantic deep pod. Yeah, they yeah. got female condoms. Yeah. So, I even yourself. know. No, yeah, they, so, yeah, they so do. Now, what, or you could say no. They look yeah, weird. Yeah, so now the, the main thing that I want to... Bring a condom yourself. The main thing I want to say is That's that the thing. women don't want to take the initiative of protecting themselves mm -hmm. and then blame the man. Mm -hmm. Right. Right? You want to blame the man. Not saying you on yeah. this panel but women Speaking like to general. blame yeah women right. like to blame the man for getting them pregnant but mm -hmm. you didn't come prepared either right mm -hmm. not only did you allow this man to be inside you you let him inside you without your own preparation right. mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so that's another accountability thing but aside from that what i think that we should do is start really really thinking about the choices that y'all are making mm -hmm. before y'all make them in full you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Because if you don't fuck a with y'all, um, a nigga going to think their first thought going to be like, damn, you do this, huh? Like, yeah. I don't trust you. I, you like, crazy. Not, you're not even going to take the condom but from if me. You, but if you, but I, you but it, listen, most men don't want to <laughs> use a condom. But yeah. if they're going to be like, I'm like, if they're an adamant condom user, right? Mm -hmm. And a woman comes to the Jamaicans. bedroom and says, I have my own condom. Mm -hmm. That'll actually make the man probably think of you as a real responsible woman. Mm -hmm. He might also... He told me like, teeter what teeter like, you like, might, you all right? You got to cut about that. But at least it was safe, Charles. Yeah. At least it was safe, Charles. Yeah, because, listen, men be fucking irresponsible yeah. women more than women fuck irresponsible men. Niggas fuck anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's walking. just what it is. Not even that's walking, facts. wheeling. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so my basically, I was seeing it work. Okay, pull up. Right, right. No, not even. I'm pull up on you. You make it work with that one leg. <laughs> Ladies, we gonna end it with the uh we're gonna do the super chats and then we're gonna do last thoughts on the podcast. This right. the last thoughts is the section of the the part of the podcast where if you have any questions, you could ask a question to myself or just a general question to the to the panel. Um or if you don't have any questions, then you could go ahead and um you know just give your last thoughts. So let me just finish up these super chats. We got uh Big Lucci sends him five dollars. Oh. He says, "Cooley the <laughs> Cooley the gym dropper. Mm. Can you give some advice on how to deal with chicks who prefer money and status over security and love? Not all men want to pee at <laughs> for love. Want to oh, pee at for love? <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? Don't want to pee for he love. Don't want to pee at the." <laughs> Push the pee, like, <laughs> like, I understand like, the first part of your like you pushing it, like pushing pee, oh, like pay for that's love. What pay for oh. love. Okay, pay for love. Without yeah, peeing for it, hey, you smart. Bring you back. Yeah. <laughs> nah, nigga, you gotta find another bitch. Hey, he asked me. Right. So okay, I'll answer I'm the sorry. Question. Um, so pretty much he said, "Coolie the gym dropper." Can you please give some advice uh, to the ladies on how to deal uh, with chicks who prefer money and status over security and love? Yeah, um, at the end of the day, man, if you do have money, um, you be very... Uh, Discreet. Dane, Ashley, you want to be my ad lib today? I'm sorry. I'm just saying how I feel. I'm so like sorry. I'm, so, I'm sorry. You got to be discreet with it because, you know, these bitches, once you pull up on them and they see how you rocking... You gotta be discreet with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't even about discreet. <laughs> yeah. That's not, I'm not like, giving, that's listen. woman advice. I'm okay. giving the men's right. advice. I'm not right, about being discreet. I'm saying that if you're a guy with money, uh, bro, uh, don't, it takes a, at least a year before even getting into a serious relationship with a woman. No. And how you, eat, well, men, we grant relationships. I'm giving advice to a man. Why are you saying no? You don't give it, you don't <laughs> give relationships you finish out. and then I'll, go ahead. Yeah, you, but you don't give, I give relationships. Lucci, what's his name? Lu talk, finish. Big Lucci. It's Big, it's big right. Lucci. <laughs> and then I'm gonna tell you what I, well, yeah, you can give me your <laughs> opinion afterwards. That's it does fine. not take a year. Damn, she couldn't wait. Saying, yo, ladies, he asked me a question to give advice yes. to men. Okay. You're not a man. You can't give any advice to no man. You can't. <laughs> but we raise Men. Okay, but it, exactly. 
you raising a man without another man in the home, which is why it's a high probability that the women that do raise men, mm -hmm. they're more likely to be in prison. They're more likely to be in, involved in some degenerate behavior, selling oh drugs, God. smoking weed, and doing some degenerate things. Simping. All of the that's degenerate crazy. Crazy. Comes, to go to the, the army. All of the degeneracy comes from single mother households. So that's what I'm saying. So you said, oh, well, we raise men. Well, yeah, you don't raise men. You raise a boy. Men, we build men. So I'm giving advice to a man. So if you are a man of resources and of value, what you do is you don't rush to anything. You don't, the first time, first couple dates, you don't lead with your wallet. You make her earn it. So the, mm -hmm. it's the process of earning it, right? So if you already smash your John, right? Well, then you could kind of chill for a little bit. Continue to still do, you know, give her good experiences and be a gentleman. But see if she's going to add value outside of sex. Because if she isn't, yeah. then she's just for the streets and you move on. Mm -hmm. So one, you got to look for a woman that's classy. And I don't mm -hmm. mean classy like status. I mean classy like have chastity. A woman that has moral value. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So one, have some discernment, good judgment, and choose better woman. And then you won't even be having to really worry about... <clears throat> You know, a woman checking your pockets because you're going to be choosing better women. And then not only that, you're going to be uh, uh, waiting until they earn it before you just lead them with your wallet. So that's the advice that I would give. Uh, next super chat. Um, we got son of Yahweh sends him five dollars. He says, hey, Cooley, shout out to the southern states like Texas outlawing the killing of babies and putting all the responsibility on whole behavior. <laughs> Shout, wow. out. Yeah. Shout out! Shout out! I'll let you go though. You said you had something on that. When, when, yeah. when it comes a to year. a man, oh yeah, yeah, year. a year, That's yeah. You you're saying say. it basically it takes a year before a man to know if this is who. So I didn't say it takes a year. I said that at least wait a year. I don't think any man of value or any man period should be jumping in. Uh, and into a relationship with a modern day woman, you gotta, you gotta see where she, see how she moves. You know what I yeah. mean? You gotta let her earn that relationship, just like you let the dude earn the box. Mm -hmm. Like you don't just give the box up the first date, or maybe you do. But even if, like, even if, nor if, if you're thinking with your right mind, you're not giving the box up the first date. You're waiting until you know he earns it. You're seeing some type of value in a man. Like, yeah, he earned his cookie. Let me get a cookie. I'm just saying that. Yeah, well, I let's do the same. But thing. the time frame is just kind of long. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I mean, no, that's real. I mean, any man that jumps into a relationship with you in three months or six months is moving off of his feelings, and that is not to be taken lightly. Because once that high is over, you then that's when you so start to discover. So within that six months, oh, are you having sex with someone else? Though, like, if you tell me, I mean, me, every man is different. I can't speak on it. But what mm -hmm. I will say is, if he is, or whether or not he is or isn't, a real man who knows. He's weighing his options and really, really vetting everything out. And like any man that, that dives in head first with, and I'm talking about men with something to lose. Yeah, a right, man that right. dives in head first, you can't trust him. Yeah, don't feel special. Yeah, just understand that he's reckless. Right, right. 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 No, I like what you yeah, just said. I agree 100 percent with that. Like 100. percent <laughs> yeah, and, and that's, <laughs> that's 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 feminine beta energy. Like, yeah, it a guy is. That's just like it put really to give is. out of relationship. Oh, like, oh, I love like, you and all this weird shit. Yeah, yeah, it is. Like for me. Oh my god, let's not even talk about that, please. Niggas be love bombing though. Niggas love bomb just to get the draws. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. a part of the game. But they be overdoing shit. it sometimes too. Like, I don't know. I what like if he, a what if he tells you he loves you after he get the draws? He just trying to like, maintain the draws. As soon as y'all fuck, like the first time Yo, he's fucking, he's he saying, trying I love to you. Like, no, 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 not, 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 not the first time. Not the first time. Not the first time. But I mean, like after you, yeah, sometimes that he comes, he say I love you, talking about he love you and shit like that. Like what? Is it the same shit? He didn't do his job. If he does oh, his you job, you're going to say it first. She yeah. did her job, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. She yeah. put it down. No, I've never said it first. I love I've you never first. Stop it. Never said it first. I never. said it first. <laughs> so we got, uh, we got another super chat, and then we're going to go, um, we're going to start here with Last Thoughts and end it over here. Um, Tony Barnett says in $10, he says, always listen to the one who will tell you the truth. A person who tells you the truth cares about you, respects you, and has your best interest at heart. Very That's facts. True, very um, true. Let's do any questions. If not, then last thoughts. No, no questions. What, like, last thoughts. Yeah, how'd you like the podcast? <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> I, got, I got a little oh, spicy on this one. Last one, I didn't really talk much. Mm -hmm. But this one, I got a little Don't judge me. That's all I'm saying. All those plan Bs was with one nigga. <laughs> 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 all right? I'm sorry. 
yeah. with the naked eye, I was unworthy though. But um, yeah, he, yeah, he really was. Yeah, but I knew that though. That's I was, I just had him. dumb bitch syndrome. <laughs> That's all good. No, we, we all do that. We all do. Take that accountability. They say women no, don't take yeah, I'm definitely honest. Right I don't there. have take a good choice in picking a man. Like definitely. Yeah, you I'm gonna say Diana, you definitely gave more energy tonight, and you was more no fugazi than last time. So yeah, because you know before it was like a little introduction, you know, a little. <laughs> but now it's like, what's up? Around here. Right, right. You know? And uh, Mia, uh, any oh, questions? Finally, the, right, well, finally. Finally. the yeah, last Mia. No questions. <laughs> okay. I think it was dope. First time doing this. Only thing I'm going to end it with, the truth shall set you free. You heard? <laughs> Period. Right, that's a fact. That is a fact. And thank you for coming, Mia. Would you come back? I would. Definitely have you back on. It's been a vibe. And Diana, you would know you come I'm back? I'm coming back. Okay, say no more. I'm coming hey. with more energy next time. Hey. There's hey. more, though. She, actually, she said up. there's more. Uh, more? <laughs> and yourself? Um, <laughs> Any it was a or? It was a great podcast. I do like Thank it. You. This is my first time doing this. Mm. And I feel like you made everybody feel comfortable. And you okay. wasn't so judgmental. Like, I didn't get the judgmental energy from you. Yeah, so no. I respect that. I don't know. You give, like, Will Smith vibes. I don't know. If you <laughs> I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. Why? I don't like that. That's no. not bad. I it love is bad. Ghost Smith. We're gonna switch it. She talking about oh, before, oh, before, 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 if you do have questions, you could ask it now. If no, not, I don't have then questions. Last thoughts. No questions. Last thoughts. Um, it was good. Um, I like this group of ladies. Y'all yeah. did amazing. Y'all look good. Mm. We all had a good vibe. Um, it was cool. I it was dope. <laughs> I liked it. Word, word. And uh, would you come back? Of course. I'll have you back. And this Thank was your you. second time too. Yes, it was. Word. And Amber. I don't have any questions. I don't really have any thoughts. I liked it. I feel like I can come back to redeem myself next time. Now. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, word, okay. Word. Well, welcome back, and I'll definitely have you back again. All right, all right. Go ahead. All right, and Yaya? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm oh, sorry. Right <laughs> Yo, he is no full gazy fool. I'm messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm messing with you. joking. You're going to make her cry. Mommy, mommy. I know you want to joke. What's no? <laughs> Oh my God! Um, last, if you have, do you have any questions or no? I do have a question. Oh, dang. <laughs> no, I do I have a question. I, and my soul told me Let she me. wasn't done. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead. I do have a question. No, 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 no. Get it out. I'm lying. I don't got no. Oh, yes. No, no but I can make one up if no, you really no, want no, it. No, 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 no. Listen, Ashley, you don't got me nothing up. Just put it back. How do you like the podcast? I like that. You know, it's a vibe as always. Stop fucking. Oh, stop freaking playing. Okay. Word, word. Stop you... playing. It's a vibe as always. And I know got, I got my viewers viewing in. Come back. Yo. <laughs> Come back. Bro. Come oh, back even when I'm not it. here because she let me tell you viewers. something. Let me <laughs> tell you something. Yo. He always be lit even when I'm not here. So that's a fact. She's speaking on, facts. Dude. On oh, to yeah. the next. No full gaze. Anyway, stop playing. Like, y'all okay, already okay. know. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm stop. <laughs> y'all know I love this shit. Nah, I'm stop. Nah, I had a good ass time. I really enjoyed tonight. It was nice meeting y'all. It was, nice it was a good ass vibe. I love hearing from y'all. My bad. <laughs> This was I don't a have nice any group. questions. <laughs> okay, word, word. But Enrico. it was really cool. Thank you. Okay, word. Enrico, you want to end it off? Yeah, I don't have any uh, questions. You liar. already know. Liar. That's your real name, right, Rico? Yeah. No, he a liar. We uh, got it, though. Yeah, it's <laughs> not his name. You said that too, Cole. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not your brother. <laughs> 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 nah, but you know, um, you my boy, Cooley's my guy, Word. and No Fugazi Podcast, I'm an active follower and listener, so I always, every time I do get a chance to pull up and Cooley has some extra free time to pencil me in, that's always a blessing. So I appreciate everybody that did come. I do appreciate you having me, and I appreciate Respect. all the yeah, viewers like that you've been able to accumulate. Okay, doing. Sorry, what you got? You know, we ain't got to clap so loud. It's not a podcast, but thank you for coming, being with us. You know what I mean? Check you out. And also, <laughs> like... Hush up. No, no, go ahead, girl. girl. 
black nigga. Good encouragement. Speed. That's not her time. I'm very proud of her. Come on, You know what I mean? Taking it to where you are right now. That's not her time. You know what I mean? Because I know y'all probably don't even get that, but we gotta be very proud of where y'all at right now. No, no, no. The is in the beginning. And look at where y'all at right now. Yeah, that's good. Y'all doing it. And if I wanted to shoot my shot, I'd shoot my shot. Go baby. ahead, baby. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 One last thing, one last thing we're going to drop. Um... So if my you guys haven't, viewers, definitely do tap in yes. with hundobrand.com and get your sunglasses. Yes. Cooley got an exclusive pair. You can't get those, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But yeah. bo, 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 there's bo. definitely other options for you. Because um, why yours look thicker, though? You yeah, know they really that's the exclusive. Yeah. 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 That's the exclusive. Yeah. Yeah. Can you get them prescribed? Because bitch yes. is lying. Yeah. Yeah. I, just, over here. I actually yeah. just partnered up with a op. op Titian, ophthalmologist, ophthalmologist. Yeah. <laughs> one of them opt an eye doctor, an right. optical, <laughs> yeah, I just partnered up with them, and um, you can actually do prescriptions. Yeah, that's what's up. Um, that's what's up. You don't have any for children. I have four styles no, for, children. Black, for children: black, oh, yeah. white, red, and pink. I'll do, I'll do one for oh, the kids. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nah, that's what's up. Thank Respect. you for sure. oh, Look at you. Uh, chat. Okay, hey, okay. Uh, happy New Year! Yeah. Yeah. So that's a great question. Right now, fellas. So listen, uh, next podcast <laughs> will be in 2024. So <laughs> right. I'll see y'all next year on Thursday. Next week on Thursday. Tune in. No forgetting <laughs> podcast. No forgetting. That was a question.